Oh man. All right. All right. Wait, let's I don't like. I don't like this. Let's get rid of that. No, you. you I don't like the delay. I don't. No sound on it. I don't like the delay. Here, wait, hold on. Um, <laughs> so, hold on. I told Sam to play the intro music. Sam, um, Sam, Sam, yo, play the intro music. Left screen. <laughs> 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 oh, that's great. Now, you can only play it for like 10 seconds. Otherwise, we're going right, to get copyright. Yeah, <laughs> you're going to pay for cut that. It. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, welcome back, everybody. Um, uh, fun, fun podcast today. Uh, first person that's come actually prepared. Yes. So I appreciate yeah, yeah. that. Yeah, John's got notes. More um, so because I'm old and I can't remember anything. No, so. no, this is yeah. going to be great. Um, we've got Sam. Sam, throw the Sam cam on. So people can see it. Oh, it's, oh, it's on. on. Okay, it's on. so we've got... He's on the screen. Okay, there's a 30-second delay no, on no. this screen. But I thought you said it's been on the whole time. It hasn't been on the whole time. Oh, okay. Sam just Sam just turned it on. Oh, we go, you got to go kill that no, TV yeah, out there. Um, welcome back, everybody. Another episode of Backcountry BSing number 74. We've done 74 of these. Whoa. How many have you done on yours? Uh, I'm about to post 120. Oh, shit. Okay, you're way ahead of us. Uh, Nice. But that's over five years, so. Nice, you know. nice. I'm, that's I'm pretty solid. Yeah. There's Sam. See him? There's a Sam cam. Oh. <laughs> um, we, got, uh, we got John here. We're going to get to him in a second. Yeah. First, like always, people, we're at 110 iTunes reviews. And that's, Did you know how many iTunes enough. reviews you have? Have I've, you ever checked? I, I, I checked years ago, and then I stopped. Probably more than 110. I, 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 every once in a while, my uh, brother-in-law likes to send me the bad reviews. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, this one's really funny. I'm like, you're killing me, man. Why would you send that to me? That's pretty funny. <laughs> One star. Um, <laughs> go rate us on iTunes. All right, first, um, for my other plugs, so you have two podcasts. Well, one you have one yeah. you have one that's going to coming out soon. That's the purpose of this one. But you also have another podcast. So let's throw those names out there so people can check it out. Yeah. So so the the one I've been doing for five years is called the Deconstructionist Podcast. So. If you're into kind of spirituality and uh, kind of a progressive bent, um, I've been doing that one for about five years and got to interview some cool people. Dr. Michio Kaku from the Science Wait, Channel. Wait, when you were talking yeah. about, oh, yeah. so you've had like famous people on yours. A, a little bit, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. We're just too dumb to know better. So we just keep asking people like, yeah, what if uh, Oprah might say yes? <laughs> <laughs> Shoot your shot. So like I did actually reach out to her once and her people were like, we'll check. Wait, did you really? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. They're like, uh, she's just... The, the, first they said they'd check and I about peed my pants <laughs> like, I was You're like Adam home. we're getting Oprah <laughs> just, just, you know these people are like there's no way Oprah's doing this but we're gonna yeah. tell them we're gonna tell them like how many listeners do you have oh that's cute oh, <laughs> oh Sam hit the record button on the roadcaster alright Andy will get it um, I always forget to do that uh, okay but your second podcast yes so the new podcast that hasn't come out yet it's gonna launch in July so first week in July, it's called From the Void, and it's my other passion, <laughs> <laughs> aka the thing I talk to Andy about at work all, all the time. Uh, it's just about all sorts of weird mysteries, things that um, don't make sense based off of, you know, what we encounter in everyday life. So okay. UFOs, ghosts, you know. Bigfoot. Bigfoot, yeah. I, I, ha I have you billed as a bona fide U UFO expert, and I believe you are after after listening to your experiences. So we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna. Get, do we have any other announcements we have to? We got Sam. So here's the deal, folks. Obviously, when it comes to UFO, we want to we want to watch and see some of the the latest stuff. So we got Sam here. He's gonna be pulling stuff up. He'll be uh, scanning through the comments. He's also Sam's mic'd up. Sam, you want to say hi? It's how yeah. Uh, hey, how's sorry, it going, man. Everybody, got, it's okay. Um, Sam's been on the podcast before, um, many a times, any other, nope. any other things? I don't think so. I know, check out our merch. Yeah, oh, I need to be wearing the NASA shirt. Oh, I screwed that up. Get that NASA uh, shirt no, but check out, uh, John's podcast. When does the, the new podcast come out? Uh, it's got the aliens. The, the specific date I think is July 5th will okay. be the first episode. Yeah. So, so a little less fun. than a month. Um, but check out his stuff. He's a cool guy, <laughs> but now it's time. And, and like, I was trying to justify this because we have like an outdoors podcast and I was like, hey, the, you, they're you, outside. You, you, you're outside. UFOs are outside. It. Yeah. So, okay. So for, first, <laughs> yeah. okay. Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. Is, is that real? So, um, <laughs> I, I actually want to start this by, and I'm, I'm going to hold, oh. hold on before we start, Sam, can you hit play there? Just five more seconds. Sam, come on. We need David Duchovny here. Did you guys ever watch the X Files? Oh, yeah, yeah, that was my did. favorite show. Yeah, okay. yeah. That was a huge fan. Yeah, I knew Sam was. Yeah, and every you guy, guys actually every guy got me into age. it, uh, as I recall. 
Yeah. We were all into Scully. Every guy my age was like, yeah, Dana Scully. There's definitely a thing, a thing there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For oh, sure. Yeah. yeah, she's hot. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. She's still hot. All the dudes. All right. <laughs> um, okay. All right. So but, the first thing I want to talk about is the events kind of leading up to this. Yeah, like, how did, how, like, did we, how did we get to where we're so, at now? And, and specifically yeah. with the New York Times stuff from, that was 2017? 2015. 2015. So yeah. can you... Can oh, you, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're talking about the news article, yeah. Well, but you know yeah. more about this. So can you walk us through... Because I go on this rant about how, like, <laughs> UFOs are real people and nobody cares. Right. And, like, all this shit has happened in the last, like, six years. But can you kind of walk us through... 2015, 2016, up to now, and like kind of what has happened. Yeah, and Andy's like, this is gonna require some bourbon. Yeah, well, I guess. Wait, what do we? What do we? We're all double fisting here. We got Sam. Some. What are we drinking? The Kentucky Spirit. The Kentucky Spirit. All right. Um, and then obviously, if you have any UFO questions for John or anything, um, drop cost drop you. them in the chat. Cost you. <laughs> drop them in. We did get some best. questions about what the super chat menu was. Um, I don't know. We I don't know. I don't know Just yet. Don't, don't, um, don't super chat. Right if, now. Hey, if you want a super chat, you can give us money. I'll appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we're drinking Kentucky spirit. Um, all right. So, so the year is, led up to the it. year is 2015 <laughs> or 2016, 2017. It all mm-hmm. starts with blink 182. Um, all right. So yeah, talk it's us so through, weird. talk us through, uh, what, what's been going down here. Yeah. So, so basically, uh, I mean, the UFO thing has been around forever, right? Right, so like, right. <clears throat> going back all the way to, like, World War II, you know, uh, U- U.S. Navy pilots or U.S. pilots in general uh, used to see UFOs all the time during the war. So they, they actually nicknamed them Foo Fighters, which is where really? the band gets the name from. Yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Did you know uh, that? Yeah. Well, John told me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't uh, know that either. No. Uh, now, John, I don't want to cut you off, but, like, after you get done with this, we need to go back to World War II and talk about the Battle of L.A. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a movie about aliens. What do you think it's inspired by? I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, so, let's, uh, we'll yeah, go we'll, forward we'll and then that. we'll jump periodically, jump back in time. Okay, all right, sorry. Because to be clear, I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I'm kind of, I've always been skeptical about everything. So, uh, But I'm an open-minded skeptic. I want to believe that this stuff is real. Okay. Right? But, like, I always look at stuff, like, from the perspective of, you know, you know, le- legit. You know, how legitimate is it? Like, who are the witnesses? How credible are they? Okay. The more witnesses, obviously, the better. And so, like, there have been instances throughout history, like the Battle of L.A., where there were a ton of witnesses. I've so, never heard of the Battle of L.A. Yeah, it was it was during World War II. Is I there any? Is yeah, there yeah, any? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, let's yeah. well let's go through current time, and then we'll come back to that because I okay, want to see sure. if there are things to see. I want to see them. Yeah. So so the the the, the phenomenon has been around forever, but it's been pretty fringy for a long time. You know, people are like, ha ha ha. It's not fringy this. anymore. No, no. So it got legitimized because there were a couple New York Times reporters uh, who who picked up on it who were. Uh, having interviews or conversations rather with, um, you know, some really high ranking military officials uh, who basically said, yeah, like these things are real. We've seen them. And yes, uh, Tom from Blink-182 is- I didn't know that. (laughs) Very weird. But yeah, so Tom from Blink-182 is obsessed with with UFOs and he started this To The Stars Academy. And it's it's basically basically a bunch of guys who used to be uh, involved in the government uh, to some extent and, and former military guys who- who are like, yeah, we've been hiding this secret for a long time. So they leaked some footage uh, from the Navy, and then uh, the craziest thing happened. The Navy confirmed it and said, yeah, this this footage is real. This is in, like, 2015? Uh, this was probably, what, like, like ish? a year or two ago? Yeah. Okay, okay. So, yeah, a year or two ago. But this footage that, that, that got leaked was from years ago. So the first one, the Tic Tac video, was from, what, 2005? Sam. And then the GoFast video and the Gimbal video were from 2015. I've never seen the Gimbal video. I have, and I can't honestly remember. Sam's, like, all right, we're pulling the, can we start with the Tic Tac? Oh, no, no, yeah. no. Go back, go back to, go back to Battle of Well, uh, Sam's, okay. Okay. All right, uh, all right, hold on. okay, all right. Well, okay, just go back to the Battle of LA and tell me about that. Okay. Sam, Google Battle of LA and see if you can get anything, get anything. Yeah, so, That's so this not was the in newspapers. Movie. Sorry. Yeah, that, so so that encounter, that incident, uh, was in the newspapers, and what happened was this: this happened after Pearl Harbor, and so of course we're in heightened alert, especially on the coast. And and, and and Los Angeles was like a huge manufacturing hub for like war goods. Yeah, so it was heavily. Okay, fortified. so this is 1944. It was right after Pearl uh, Harbor, somewhere around there. You guys don't know when Pearl Harbor was. <laughs> Sam, I don't know it. when the Battle of LA was. I've got sure. some information here. Yeah, what do you got, Sam? 
What yeah, what what year uh, was it? Th- this is uh 42. Okay. 42. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so so the uh so these lights show up in the, in the sky and immediately, of course, we're on the defense. They assume it's the Japanese who are who are coming yeah. full tilt, right? They're like they're going to invade the coast. And so essentially, they just light the sky up. Yeah. Like in Over an insane LA. number of like just Oh, the, they just yeah. are like yeah. hammering it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> For like for a while, it's the it's most, Amer- night, it's like it's the most American thing ever. Yeah. <laughs> it's all night long. Yeah, really. And just and how come I've never heard it. about this? Yeah, but the the crazy thing is, they th- there was nothing that was shot down. Nothing. They have nothing to show okay. for it. So they expend all these shells. Put it up. Throw it up there. All right, going after it. Sam's got some sort of picture. So do you remember what button to click, Sam? Nope, not over there. <laughs> oh no, he's zooming in. He's oh, good. He's good. good. Control. Ooh. No, no, he knows. You can also hit Control Plus, by the way, all you Chrome users. <laughs> yeah, so this, should, so uh, give it a moment. No, just, fine. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, it's delayed. Okay, so it's up on the screen right now. Um, this is the uh, the press see, release. See, this is the problem. We, we're watching yep. this delayed, but uh, we're looking at the actual. So, Sam, is that picture? Is that an actual picture, or is that like a? I believe so. Okay, so that that's like so that's what they saw, or is that us like lighting it up? That's us lighting it up. So oh, those are, okay. So those are searchlights, so searchlights, and then anti-aircraft uh, guns just going. I mean, they were going after it. So like people actually died. Oh in shit! The process. Andy probably remembers the specifics because there, there was a, there was some there was some dude there. Some people died from like flak coming down. And then sometimes somebody was trying. This is awful. I don't know why I'm laughing. But somebody was driving their car like just peacefully, and then the sky lights up with like anti aircraft, and it died from a heart attack. Oh shit! Yeah. yeah. So they had casualties um, you know, by virtue of. And it, it was over going. Catalina where they saw the lights. Where the Catalina wine mixer it was, was over the wine mixer. <laughs> well, Cat- Catalina Island is also where the Tic Tac video incident yeah. took place. Really? Yeah. There's some theories around that we can talk about, but. Um, so yeah, this stuff's been happening forever, and the, and the crazy thing is that's so that's one of the biggest mass sightings ever. Pillow. Oh, Sam, so you got you got yeah, got to mute it. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. But um, and, and there's a bunch of other ones too that are really interesting, like the Phoenix Lights. Um, I've heard about that one. That was like late '90s, like I think 1997 or something like that. There were thousands of witnesses to that one too, including the governor, uh, yeah. if I remember correctly. He drove out there. Yeah, and, and this thing happened over the course of hours. So this slow-moving thing that people described as the size of like a football field. Sam, we got anything on Phoenix Lights? I'm sorry about what? Phoenix Lights, <laughs> Sam. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> Sam, you have one job. Who's, who's driving this car? <laughs> well, I, I, I've never, I've never heard of the Phoenix Lights before. Yeah, it's, it's, an, it's an unfamiliar phenomenon. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Um, <laughs> that was in the '90s. I've heard yeah. of that. Where they saw a bunch of weird stuff in the sky. It was mm-hmm. lights. It's like a triangle. Yep. And uh, we're gonna no see. Noise. We're gonna see if there's any. I don't there know if it there's is. Any. Sam down about halfway, almost to the bottom. You see that like triangle with the lights? Yeah. Click on that, Sam. Sam, are you sharing the screen? There it is. Uh, just a moment. There it is. Yeah. It's fun. Oh, so wait, is that yeah. them on the yeah. on the right, right there? That's it. Yeah. That's that real. That's it. That's it. Yeah. yeah. That might be a. Re- is that actually it, or is that? I don't know. I know. I know they definitely got caught footage of it because people were taking, you know, cam camcorders. You know, they, they did catch some footage. Who's this guy? <laughs> Wait, why are they inside? They're probably like, dude, you need to go outside. He's like, no, no, nope. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. There we go. So that's it. That's it? Yeah. So they don't know what that is. No clue. Oh, oh, oh. That is so close to the city. Yeah. I know. They're it like, it flew over three states. states. They're like, it, it flew flare. over three states? Yeah, here. Uh, let's see. God, you, uh, most out about. Great, great guest. <laughs> Kudos. <laughs> <clears throat> Let me see. Um, more about this particular event. All right, Sam. Now you cut it off, Sam. Yeah. So they, they spotted it over Arizona, Nevada, and the Mexican state of Sonora, and it was witnessed by thousands of people between 7.30 p.m. and 10.30 p.m. So this thing was like three hours long. Uh, a space about 300 miles, as you can see, the triangular-shaped lights, the V formation. Uh, first report over Henderson. But there were a ton of really credible witnesses. That one of the, I think they said they, who they believe was the second witness was a um, now-retired police officer. Um, you know, there's a... The governor. The governor. Yeah. Is, there, is there any non-UFO reason for this that's been presented? Oh. 
Flares, of course. <laughs> that, what I saw yeah, was yeah. not flares. Yeah. <laughs> so it, they always come out with the flares or weather balloons. Um, one of the one of the. But like, if it was culprits. weather balloons, some of whose weather balloon it was, right? Would be like, hey guys. These are my weather balloons. <laughs> yeah, they stay together remarkably well yeah. the entire time. Yeah. 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 Good weather balloon technology. So the weird thing is that this thing was huge, and it kind of hovered over and slowly kind of drifted over this this 300-mile uh, space or whatever, but it didn't make any noise. They said it was completely silent, and this thing was massive. So one of the theories, because a lot of times these sightings take place near like military installations, uh, is that it is top-secret government stuff technology okay. and they're testing it out and kind of using the public to their advantage but, yeah, but but has but the government has since said right this was not them uh i don't know about the i don't know about that for the phoenix lights yeah i don't know okay. about that one okay yeah. um all right let's let's move on from phoenix okay mm-hmm. i want to see sam can you pull up the, the tic tac footage you're going right to the those well i think that's yeah. the since phoenix right that's the uh, earliest one, correct? No, no, they've had it. I mean, they've had more since then, but this is the first one that really went crazy publicly because. Well, is there another one we should see before we get to the Tic Tac? I mean, there's 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 definitely several others. Um, one of the ones. All right, Sam, hold, the other hold on, Sam. We might have a new Google. All right. Uh, O'Hare Airport in 2006. This is a good one. Oh, I haven't seen this one. I, I don't know that there's there's video footage of this one, but like this this incident is crazy because it was a bunch of again a, a ton of credible. This witnesses. is uh, Chicago. Should we should we Google yeah. uh, O'Hare Airport 2018 2008 UFO? See if we get anything. Okay. Yeah. So this this one's nuts because it was pilots who were witness to this. You know, people who are hopefully trained to yeah. know the difference between a bird and a weather balloon and and a weather. Anomaly, you know, what year was this? 2008, 2006. Oh, 2006. So, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yep. But, um, I mean, everything from like managers at the terminal to pilots, mechanics, managers, whatever, all witnessed this disc that was just basically hovering below this cloud. And it was sitting there for a while, apparently, about 1900 feet above the ground. And that is not far off the ground. Yeah. No, no. Well, actually, no, I'm sorry. The cloud was 1900 feet. I think they said the the object was about 1,500 feet. Oh, over, wow. Over gate C-17 at the United Terminal. <laughs> oh, oh, so this yeah. is like over the airport. Yes. Oh, okay. Did people see it? Uh, I don't know. I didn't I didn't dig too too deep into that part of it. Um, I was more interested in, in the fact that, you know, pilots not only saw it, you know, who to me, again, makes credible yeah, ways. Yeah, yeah, uh, But they reported it to the FAA, FAA and because the, they're like, if this is a UFO or not, this is a safety yeah, problem. Yeah, yeah. You know? Right, right, right. And the FAA basically buried it. Like, they didn't really? do anything with it. Yeah, yeah. And so there was an independent group, a uh, team of experts uh, called NARCAP, who spent five months investigating it. And they were they were a group of experts. So they, they had a guy who was a meteorologist formerly with the EPA. They had an aerospace engineer who used to work with NASA on advanced space missions. They had all these, like, uh, you know, pilots, aviation experts, um, and, and they released like a 154 page report on this thing. And they're like, yeah, it's not a weather yeah. anomaly. You know, this thing, we don't know what it was, but uh, all the excuses that the FAA was giving, they're like, oh, it's this weather phenomenon that, because essentially what happens. Swamp happens, gas. Yeah. <laughs> Light why, why is the FAA so hesitant to just say, we don't know what it is? Or is that what they said? That's a great question. So Nancy Kane, who was one of the two New York Times reporters, put out a really great book where she interviews some of the most credible witnesses out there. You know, like like I said, pilots, military personnel, government officials. So she actually talks about in her book how, how our approach in the United States is very different from like over in Europe. So okay. like in England, uh, pilots are actually, they're not ridiculed, they're but they're expected to report sightings like this. Yeah. So like it's not a big deal. Like they just report it. Our pilots, it's this weird thing where they're like, no, you don't talk that. You, you don't talk. About yeah, it. I could see that. Like, yeah. you, like you're like a crazy person. They think you're like a weirdo. Right, a lunatic. Yeah, yeah. That's a shame. Mm-hmm. It's it, it seems like things have changed though. Yes. In that regard, but we're not there yet. Okay, yeah. so 2000, uh, 2008, 2006, we got the Chicago hair thing. Yep. Uh, what do we got after that? I mean, there's there's a bunch of sightings. So I, these are just a couple I wrote down because of just the sheer numbers of people. Who, yeah, no, that's good. That's but, good. But like, so these things have been happening and uh, have oftentimes been caught on camera, especially now. Like everybody's carrying right. a camera in their pocket, so it's becoming more and more prevalent that people are capturing this stuff. But what really like lit the fuse was the fact that you had two lifetime, you know, 
respected New York Times reporter. So um, you've spoken to one of them. I spoke right? to one of them. Yeah, Ralph Ralph Blumenthal. He's worked for I think it was over forty five years as an investigative reporter for the New York Times. Um, he he's not formally employed for them anymore, but he still writes for them. So he uh, contributed towards it as well. And they were just they kept talking to these people who were very very credible individuals, and they're like, "There's something here," and so. Uh, the way that they, they, they wrote the story was, was very much in the vein of like, all right, we don't know. We're not saying this is aliens, but we are saying that we have very credible witnesses who know the difference between objects in the sky who are reporting these things that can do things that our aircraft cannot do. And nobody's talking about this. Like, how are we not investigating this? We're, we're basically essentially admitting that there's aircraft in the sky that can run us ragged and we're not concerned about this. We should be concerned about yeah. it. Yeah. Um, can we watch the Tic Tac video? Yes. Heck yeah. Go All ahead. right, Sam. Sam, have you seen this? I'm not sure. Pull it up. <laughs> I think this one's the most impressive. <laughs> this one. is the one where I saw this. I like, and I like the I like the the pilot when he's taking I it. I put my hat on. He has the visual. Yeah. And he's taking it from his cockpit of the like the flying pyramid. Oh yeah, I haven't seen that one. Oh, that one's great. Um, is that the Go Fast one? I can't. Yeah, remember. I haven't yeah. seen the Go Fast no, or the no, Gimbal. That's one. not the Go Fast one. Which one? The Go that? Fast ones. I think that's. Is that the one where it's splat? It, Sam, you're gonna have to scrub through. You're gonna have to scrub yeah, through yeah. one of these to find it. It's like where you're. Where we're looking at like the pilot's heads up display. Yeah, um, it's all of those. So, <laughs> so by the way, and it, it, we can start shitting on Neil deGrasse Tyson now if you want. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we've waited. We've yeah. waited uh, twenty minutes to do that. So I, I love Neil deGrasse Tyson. The guy's brilliant. Uh, his version of the Cosmos uh, TV show that came on was was awesome. Uh, but the, the guy's arguments against UFOs, it, it's it was so at least the one that he yeah, he made on uh, Rogan one. recently was just incredibly weak yeah incredibly weak oh, oh okay it's uh, is that up on the pod sam yeah. is that up on the screen they're up on the screen it will be in a moment is okay that, is that um, the tic tac no, no. yeah that's the one right I, yeah it's I a little can't. white yeah yeah it's like a little white dot yeah that right there yeah oh nice sam sam solid job finding that okay that's the thing i've seen yeah so this was off the coast this is this the, the catalina california yes is yes. this the david fravor one yes okay so this is I'm looking. I, okay, so I know this but one a little his, bit. But his he was he was later on to capture other people from his squadron had captured it. First. But this is um this is an F A is an F eighteen Hornet right that's following this. Yep. So there's there's actually I believe if I remember correctly there were two in the air at the time they were on a training mission off the coast, and so Fravor was piloting one of them, and now um, oh, recently the other pilot name? Alex Dietrich yeah uh, just came out she she went public she she was interviewed along with him on sixty minutes recently and was like yep I saw it too I was there as well as their two backseat uh, weapons uh, specialists. Okay. So there are four so, of them. So two jets, four people. Right. Are tracking this thing actively. Yeah. And they just get hosed by it, right? Yes. <laughs> this thing's like... That's oh, there it is. Yeah, oh, you yeah. guys missed it. Oh, yeah, Sam, yeah, Sam, yeah. Can, you, can you show that it's again? A, it's the a, very uh, end of it. Just show the last like five seconds. Where it's like, yeah, yeah. It, no, no, it's so it's it's like, peace, 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 pussies. <laughs> Uh, Sam, did you see it? Yeah, yeah. Watch it. Watch it go. It's like, oh, these Americans. All right, bye-bye. Boom. Yeah, just gone. (laughs) Wow. What's what's crazy about this, too, is they they were able to use the footage to try to figure out roughly the speed that it was traveling at, and it was something crazy like Mach 15. So you told me that. So they they actually think when it did that maneuver, it was, oh, Sam, what is this? Is that the same thing? That's, I think, I don't know. Have you seen this one? Yeah, I think that's the same. So there's a couple different videos, right? So there's so Fravor and Dietrich got within a, about five miles, I think they said, okay. of the object. So they were able to actually see it with their with their eyes, yeah, uh, as well as the, is is capturing it on camera. But once they landed back uh, on top of the uh, uh, the ship, uh, another pilot, I, I think it was uh, Ryan, um, shoot, no, I'm sorry, Chad Underwood, Underwood, who's another pilot who went up. He got within 20 miles of it, so he didn't see it. Uh, personally with his own eyes but he was able to track it using the FLIR the FLIR camera okay so that picks up you know heat and so he captures this thing on on his FLIR camera so we've got multiple different systems that I'm sorry uh Dr. Tyson but if if you're saying that it was a technical glitch then we No, were, I'm looking at that know? right there. No, that's not like the sensors no, effing that the, up. No, right. That's a weather balloon. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's a weather balloon. You can folks. see the way it's it's turning though. It's very interesting. Um Yeah. 
uh, and you can see they have like a little, they, I don't know if it's a lock on it, but their, their technology has like coupled onto it and some, and then it's just like, nope, bye. So where did the, um, the, the we got to find the one with the, I, it might be the go fast where it splashes. It goes in the water. Is that on? Yeah. Is that, is that on video? Yeah. yeah where it yeah. goes into the water? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go, go fast, Sam. I go fast I UFO. I, I don't know if it's the go fast one. So is this, so I just want to like, that thing doesn't look like a Tic Tac, but is that, is this the, uh, the Tic Tac? I, I don't know. There was a bunch of them. Yeah. There, there was a bunch of them like this. At some point, we're going to have to talk about Ele Element 115. To, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bob Lazar. Yeah. I love old Bob uh, Lazar. So I've never, see, I've never seen the Go Fast or the Gimbal one. Okay. And those are the two Sam, I hear. Sam, do do uh, do UFO uh, goes into ocean. Yeah. And we, so will you talk to me about one of those? I don't know anything about them. Yeah, so I, I don't know as much about those. Two. Those two came out uh, more recently. Okay. And so those were from years later. So so the, the Tic Tac video is from t t 2004. So we're talking like, what, really? years ago? Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. So that's what's crazy is we've the, the government has had footage and, you know, essentially have, have captured these yeah, objects. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Uh, military yeah, shows spherical UFO off California disappearing. In okay, so that's it? Yeah, watch. It goes in the water. I've never seen this. Yeah. They got a lock on it. Yep. It's like, I'm and that's, out. That's what's interesting, too, is like sometimes they can get a lock on it for a second, and then it'll jam their, their so, equipment. So uh, what's interesting is if, if I'm looking at, if this is infrared. Oh, oh, um, oh it's Jeremy Corbell. Oh, yeah. Uh, if it is infrared, yeah. that, that thing is black, which means it's not giving off a heat signature. Yeah, right. No, um, if, that, if we are looking at an this IR might, thing. Wait, well, wait. The, the Tic Tac, I know for a fact that when Underwood went up in his his uh, plane and, and captured it on FLIR, uh, one of the things that they said was crazy about it is that they, they, it was emitting heat of some kind, but not in the way that a conventional aircraft would. So there should be an exhaust plume out the back uh, based on the, the propulsion yeah, yeah, system right. we've been using for right. decades. And there was just nothing, just nothing. That's scary. Yeah. Well, what's even scarier is the fact that they were saying that they witnessed these things going from about 50,000 feet to 100 feet in a couple of seconds. And they're like, that's not possible based on our current understanding of physics. We, we're going to get into that. Okay. What's the gimbal thing? Is there another thing we should watch? Is there is there something to see for that? Yeah. I mean, there's, is Andy, is that the triangular one? Duh. Sam, can you uh, check? Can you Google gimbal UFO video? Did, uh, Sam, you're doing a great job, by the way. No, I, I want uh, I want to do the the picture that. Okay, so there's a, a Navy pilot. He's in a cockpit with his backseater behind him, and he literally has his cell phone camera out, and he's <laughs> what? like yeah. snapping pictures. Really? Yeah. What would we Google to find that? Just uh, Sam, do a uh, pilot takes picture we're, of we're, UFO. We're throwing Sam like a bunch of stuff right uh, now. I know we're too excited. <laughs> let me let me bring this up too. So Ryan Graves is another pilot who was on 60 Minutes okay. who I think off the East Coast was saying like they see this stuff all the time when they're up in the air. This so, is the other coast of the... This is like yeah. going West Coast to East Coast. Okay. And he's like, so he's not active anymore, right? But he's like, I've heard through active duty sources that the objects seen on the East Coast appear like a cube in a sphere, continue today, and can also be found on the West Coast. He's like, basically, he's just trying to say like, look, guys, like this has been happening for a while. It's still happening. This isn't new. <laughs> like, yeah. But like they weren't able to talk about it. So most of the people like Fravor and, and, and the other folks who were aboard the, the, uh, the ship – who witnessed this stuff from from the guys who were who were um, this watching the radar they, and then they zoom in on it too. All right, what what do we Google? What does Sam Google to put that up on the screen? Just do pilot takes pictures of UFO. What, what, so whatever he has on the screen right now though look, looks look at cool. This, look at this. Okay, pull that up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sam, wait, what did you Google to get that? Just do pilot pilot takes pictures of UFO and do an image search, and I'll show you which one to click on. Can we verify this has not been photoshopped or anything? No, I can't verify. Okay, <laughs> not, okay. not right this minute. Well, that's do a problem. Do an image search. That's yeah, a later. problem. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So top left. Click on that one. This one. Yeah. Click on that one, and then uh, okay. Scroll down a little bit. Yeah, I want to see the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The top left sub picture. That one right yeah, there. Yeah. Yep. And f yeah, okay, all right. That's a weather balloon, folks. Okay, first off, all <laughs> I right. I can tell you a little bit about those. You can? Yeah. Okay, yeah. all right. So those were uh, videos from 2014, Dude, 2015. What the fuck is that? <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> those were taken from the USS Theodore Roosevelt, the gimbal video and the GoFast video. Ha has the U.S. military verified that what I'm seeing right there is not Photoshopped and is real? No, no not this one. Only the FLIR videos, I think. 
I think they ver- verified all. Sam, three. Oh, Sam's okay. got yeah. a very military-looking <laughs> yeah. person up on the screen. Yeah. No, I'm pretty sure all three have been verified that's, by that's so. Navy. So that's that uh, Sam go that thing right there. That's Fravor right next. The to it. United States yep. military has verified that I, that is a real thing we know. saw. Oh, this picture. Yeah, the, the three. Vi- I don't know about that picture, okay. but the three videos. I mean, that looks alien to me. Yeah, this is the first thing. This is the first thing I've seen that wasn't like a little oh. old black blip on a on yeah. a heads up display. That's the upside down pyramid one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the other thing that they that they noticed about the the gimbal video and the go fast video, the craft that they're witnessing there, is that these crafts stayed up in the air for up to twelve hours at a time, and they're like, that's about eleven hours longer than normal. Yeah. You know, and like they seem to travel at speeds up upwards of Mach 15, far faster than than obviously anything that Russia has. <laughs> That's been something we to be we on. brushed over the whole fact. Sam, do you think this? Yeah. Th- what do you think of that last picture? Do you think that's real? I can't. I don't know. What's the last picture? I'm the pretty, one I've that's up that on the before. TV yeah. to your right, right there. Oh, um, what about it? Do you think it's real? That's the first good picture I've seen. Of course it's real, yeah. but we, we just don't know what it is. No, no, no. I mean, do you think that's Photoshopped or not? No, no. Really? That one's not, no. No, I've seen that one before. That's, but that doesn't look like anything I've seen before. Right. Well, and that's a, that's the weird thing is the craft that are spotted come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. So the typical disc-shaped ones, we've seen cigar-shaped ones. You know, the Tic Tac one kind of fits in that. Um, pyramid-shaped ones, cube-shaped ones, like just all sorts of weird you know, different, there's no consistency to it really. Um, but yeah, they're all, they all, but they all kind of maneuver the same way. They take turns that are completely unnatural. They travel at speeds that are completely unnatural. Like, like Andy mentioned, you know, they've been sighted going into the ocean. Like that, that's no another, down, just, that's boop. another interesting thing to me. Cause they talk about this, you know, you know, Rogan talks about this. Maybe they've, they've come from the ocean, like an underwater base. Yeah. yeah. They come I've off heard there come. are bases in the ocean. That's a thing, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's a real thing. So, all right, I, I want to get through all of the the facts, <laughs> incredible sources before we just go on a wild ride. Yeah. Like, what the hell is this? So, <laughs> is, are there any other things we should look at? Uh, yeah. you, you did a. This is this is fantastic, by the way. <laughs> I had never seen that thing on the screen. That little like. Yeah. Video game looking yeah. triangular thing. Pull up. It, yeah, it, that's literally a pilot going. And up. like, why was Boy. that? The was now was that the gimbal or was that the go fast? Video? I don't know. I don't do Sam. Google. The, yeah, Google both of those. What? Like, I don't even know if if I was an alien and designing a flying craft, why would I even pick that shape? Doesn't matter. It doesn't look. It, it doesn't, doesn't look very aerodynamic. Because aerodynamics <laughs> don't matter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if it's anti gravity technology, basically you just it just shifts things out of the way anyway. So like that's that's the theory. The only propulsion system that would not turn you into soup going at that speed would be something that can bend space time. And you would need a, an insane amount of gravity, like an insane amount of, you'd have to generate an insane amount of power to create a gravitational pull strong enough to warp space time. And that's how theoretically, and Dr. Michio Kaku talks about this in his, in his most recent book, how you could leapfrog across fast distances without having to just chug along, you know, for, Hundreds and hundreds of years. So it's like the movie Interstellar. Exactly. Me of. Yeah. Yep. Um, Sam, I want to see either a gimbal or a go fast. Do the go fast. Video. Um, just it should just be go fast video. And we are. I I, I do yeah. got to say we are glossing over like hundreds so, and so, hundreds so, of so, things that are out there to look at. Yeah. I just I want to I want to focus on the ones where the military is like. This is from our fighter pilots, yeah, and we have this, no idea what is, it is. Exactly. Yeah. So, oh, uh, so this is the one where it goes in the water. All right, Sam, put that on the screen. Um, and then after this, we should talk about like uh, a tip. Yeah, and then yep, and then kind of the lead up to where we are now. Sam, right, Sam's yeah. doing a great right, job. Right? Yeah. yeah, I'm ready. All right. All right. So, so this is so wait, wait is, is this the go is. fast? Oh, that yeah. thing? Yeah, and yeah. then it goes in the water. Goes in the water. Oh, boom. Wait, where does wait, it go? Wait. No, it's I saw tracking. it. It's right there. It's yeah. Tracking. There it goes. Oh, so he locked on it right yeah. there. Right, there oh, okay, dude, that thing's moving fast. No, and then it goes in the water. I'm Wait, is this sure. a Fravor video? No, no. Dude, no, no. First, no off, yeah. first off, everyone bitches, look, look at that quality Raytheon technology. <laughs> that is locking on it quite well right now. Yeah. Dude, that thing is moving fast. Yeah. So is this another FA-18 that's tracking it? Do we know uh, that? I don't that know. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, it probably right. is. Yeah. More or than like likely. an F- F-15 or an F-22. I don't know. Um, dude, that is crazy. I'd never seen that one. Sam, what yeah. was that? Was that go fast or gimbal or what did you Google to get that? Uh, go fast. This is go fast. It is going fast. Is that the name? Is that the name? I think that's literally how they got is one of the one of the pilots is like, whoa, that's that that's going real fast. <laughs> um, like, 
Sam, can we get a gimbal? Can we get a? And why? And I want to know why they. I've I've heard the gimbal footage. I've heard about this yeah. a lot. Um, I'm curious a why they call it a gimbal, and then I've never actually seen it. It's probably another one of these like. We're looking at the heads up display of a fighter pilot and it's like, what yeah. the hell is that? Yeah. And the crazy thing is, okay, so this Sam, this is gimbal. Oh, so. I, I think we've already seen. That. Okay. So we've yeah. seen this. Yeah. Um, all right. I wonder why they call it the gimbal one. I don't know. Whatever. Um, <laughs> so what's crazy to me is one, there's, there's probably what thousands of these sightings by military aircraft. And we've just looked at three of them. So they're seeing yeah. this shit all the time. The, yeah. There was another awesome one where a bunch of airline pilots, that I think they're near an airport, like coming in for landing, and they all see something, and they all break radio silence, and they're all talking to each other, and they're like, "Did you see that? Did you see that up there?" And he's like, "Yeah, I, I, I wasn't gonna say anything, but I saw it too." Yeah, I mean, there there are presidents who have gone, basically gone on record at you know after office or whatever who have said that they had sightings, like Carter allegedly uh, had a sighting, I didn't know Reagan, this. Um, yeah, one of them, I, I swear. I can't remember the story, and this might be wrong, but uh, spotted outside of uh, a plane. He was on a flight, and they saw something out the out the window. It's like, okay, you know, for as much time as I spent outside, I've never seen anything. Yeah, you know, I've what's, never seen. You know, it. what's funny about that is they said that like there's no back, there's no yeah. campers are seeing any of this stuff, right? <laughs> There's well, the, and that's that's the funny thing, though. They said since the pandemic started, uh, UFO sightings have gone up because people are sitting that. at home like, I got nothing else to do. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but yeah. But yeah. So like, you know, there's there's tons more, I think, credible witnesses who are coming out now because they've been kind of legitimized. Um, I mean, there was the whole disclosure project a, a couple years ago where they had like all sorts of former military officials like Nick Pope he used to work for the Ministry of Defense uh, in the UK, who's a who's an advocate. And he. There's a really interesting piece he wrote recently that talks about just how the, the government layers uh, research projects in that aren't public knowledge and keep keep them secret uh, in, in such a way that they are outside of the uh, the reach, I guess, of the Public Information Act. So, like, we could oh, file a request for yeah. freedom of... And they're just like, eh. Because they contract it out. Yeah. So, so ATIP, um, Andy mentioned earlier... Uh, what is, is ATIP? It, oh gosh! Advanced, Advanced Aeronautics, something. Yeah, it's A A T I P. If you want okay. to Google it. So that Lou, Lou Elizondo, the name that you, you yeah, yeah. Same. so he was the 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 project head, I guess. Yeah, and they got funding from Harry Reid. Yep. So, oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. First off, I love that Marco Rubio. This is like his torch to bear. Well, oh, have no, you but, heard that? No, but they're bringing both sides together. <laughs> yeah, like the Republicans are like, we want to know what's out there. It's really weird. <laughs> Well, they're all like maybe sports, yeah. Space Force has something, uh, you know. You know what? <laughs> as much as we make fun of Space Force, I actually think like it's it a good sense. idea. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe there's a reason behind this. Yeah, after all. Like, yeah. you guys just didn't know. <laughs> or it, it's like kind of makes sense. It's like, all right, we've mastered water, we've mastered air. What's left? And then we're seeing all this shit. Yeah. So, <laughs> and their uniforms are pretty dope. They you are really dope. <laughs> Um, all right, before we open this up to a broader discussion, what in your notes sheet here have we not hit upon? Well, so I, like I said, I think there are some, some, what I would call like mass UFO settings that, that tend to be a little more credible. In my okay. Opinion. So like, it, it's harder to say, like when you see Joe Bob outside his trailer, right. out in the middle, no, no offense to, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? but Joe like, Bob. but like, you know, it, who sees it and he's the only witness. Right? Yeah. So like the more witnesses, the better, especially when you get people who are, are trained professionals. So especially like pilots go a long way. Yeah. That's a know? good one. Yeah. So the O'Hare airport thing, uh, you know, sighting was really interesting because this, this disc that was sighted that was hovering above was witnessed by tons of people in the United airlines, uh, terminal there. And it basically shot up into the sky, went through the cloud that it was hovering under and left a disc shape hole in it uh. so the fa is like well there's this weather phenomenon and then like these experts came in later and they're like that's not how that works yeah okay like no that's chicago too that's far from the coast yeah yeah it's creepy so you've got that you've got uh rendlesham force which is an interesting one um that what, was, what is this i've never heard of this one so it's uh the raf woodbridge uh it's a uh air force this is base. british the yeah. british okay but it but it was it was spotted by so we had uh we had soldiers there and, and this is, you know, during the cold war. So this is 1980, okay. Okay. uh, December 26, 1980. So there were some U S soldiers stationed there and they see these lights 
And so they get permission to go off base into Rendlesham Forest to investigate because they initially thought it was a down aircraft, uh, aircraft, like a plane had crashed into the the forest. And then, so there's multiple soldiers who go in to investigate. And basically the long, the, the, the short version of it is that they see this craft that has lights on it, different light, d- different colored lights. And this thing is kind of hovering above the forest. So they're going out there like, what is this thing? And a couple of them claimed to have gotten close enough to it because it had kind of landed in the, in the woods and got close enough up to it to where he could actually like take a look at it and touch it. And he said it was smooth like glass had weird symbols on the side. And so none of these guys talked about it. Yeah. None of these guys talked about it because they were debriefed like 500 times and basically were, were told this is the version that you can talk about. Okay. And and so they were like made to sign off on these agreements. Like you can, you can talk about this version of the story, but not what you actually saw. Oh shit. That seems like a Sam. What am I watching right here? I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> uh, hold on. There's some there's some good uh, uh, militia dads posting some good information. He said, look up TR3B photos. Sam, Google. Sam, can we get nice. a Google on? Nice. Do you know what that is? It's a, it's a U.S. Navy aircraft, supposedly. Supposedly. <laughs> is, is this something that looks like mm-hmm. something? We, okay, all right. Let's do images. All right. Maybe this looks like that weird triangle. Yeah, it does. Oh, yes. Sam, give me an actual picture of that ship. Anti gravity spacecraft. That's crazy. Wait, oh, wait, what? What am I looking at? Suppose. I like the music. I do like this. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> muted it. Good job, Sam. What am I? What is this? What's the title of this video, Sam? Um, well, TR three B anti gravity spacecraft. Is this a real thing? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, By the have way, have you heard of this? That I have not, mm-hmm. but. Uh, by the way, side note for for history nerds, um, the the Nazis were working on a UFO craft of their own called the um, uh, what was it called the the uh, it was called the not nicknamed the Nazi Bell because it was shaped like an upside down bell or like I guess a right side up bell, but kind of disc mm. shaped with a kind of bubble in the middle. And they were actually working on this thing, and so you know skeptics are like, well, maybe they just perfected. I'm like, you don't think when Hitler was losing and he's like getting cornered yeah, by he all sides, he's like. All right, it's time to whip out the UFOs. Yeah, I, I feel like, yeah, that would probably be a last-ditch effort like, for no, the no, no. Germans. Keep yeah, them, keep them secret, you know. Yeah, I, um, you know, so first off, I think all of this is is fascinating and super fun to talk about. Um, I, as you know, as a statistician. Look at I, this. Yeah, but look at the blurriness around the what bottom. What is that? Right. Yeah. Is that what I'm seeing? No, but look at the blurriness on the bottom. That. What do you mean? Scroll, Sam, 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 what is this? Are we saying that's, that's a UFO the, on an yeah, aircraft no, carrier? No, that can't be real. The TR-B. I mean, oh. Yeah. So the TR-3B is an American? No. Hold on. I'm skeptical. Uh, I'm oh, that's, skeptic. a, that's a F-35, I think. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Watch. Hold on. Watch. Yeah. Look watch, at it. On. Sam, is this on the screen? Why is it blurry Sam, underneath? Sam, is this on the screen? No, yeah. no, it's not. Why is it blurry underneath? Is it displacing gravity? Is that why? Oh, yes. I didn't think about that. <laughs> Sam, wait, Sam. Yeah. Can you put this on the screen so the people yeah, watching yeah, can see yeah. it? All, All right. right. And what, what, what is this video of? The TRB. Yeah, but right. like what? No, no. Like who so posted this video? What is this? Is this a video by the U.S. military? Look at, I mean, come on. Look at the, look at the way that that's, that's why I'm asking like who, no. who produced this it, video? Oh, it appears it's to be Photoshop. <laughs> I was like, this doesn't look real. <laughs> it's from Reddit. Mm. No, uh, it's got a section 51 watermark. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. I, I, so I, it is what it is. First off, I think all this stuff is fascinating. Um, I mean, you, you simply cannot deny the amount of evidence that's or whatever some, it is. Something is unexplained. The, and the fact yeah. that the U.S. military is saying, but then you think, okay, why are they saying that? Maybe there's shit that they know about they and, they, and they just want to keep us on this little like UFO, like goose chase to yeah. like, there's part of that. But like, so clearly you have pilots seeing stuff on dozens, if not hundreds of occasions. And now we have video evidence of it. And now the, the U S government is saying our pilots are seeing this. We don't know what it is. Um, first off, what is, 
What is, do you know anything about what's supposed to come out later this month? And and, and do you yeah. know about the genesis of, of all this about the COVID relief bill and about yeah. what Trump did? So can you can you <laughs> yeah. talk a little yeah, about, that? about that? So there so there were some senators who have been trying to get to the the heart of this for a while, and so <laughs> well, Sam, is this real? Sorry, of course it's real. <laughs> <laughs> is this up on the screen? Yes. All right, it's what, up what, on the screen. What is it? This is his TR. This is uh, the yeah the TR three B. Is the TR three B real? Spacecraft. No, is this is this by someone fucking with us? <laughs> <laughs> no, this well here this, it's from uh, it's well, military dot com. <laughs> well, I mean, okay. So first, of all, I mean, I, I do want to get to the genesis of the code of relief bill, but there is certainly a part of this where it could be some <laughs> military shit. That, Absolutely, yeah. yeah. That's certainly a possibility. Um, all right. Yeah. So, okay, talk to me about why all this is stuff is coming out now. So, so basically, in this COVID relief bill, there's some senators who, for a long time, have wanted to get some answers. And you know, there's there's what the government does publicly, and there's what the government does, you know, when we're not aware, right? right? So, like the the idea that we are just now starting to investigate this phenomenon is ridiculous. Like. They've had government programs forever that were top secret for, you know, for, for, for decades. And then they finally admitted, oh, yeah, we yeah. have been looking at them, you know. Yeah. So, like, Project Blue Book, Project Grudge. What like, is, um? I've heard Project, Project Blue Book, like, a hundred times. I don't actually know what it is. What, what is that? So, back in the, uh, gosh, I think it started in, like, the 50s, um, they... They brought aboard actually a guy from uh, from our hometown, from Ohio State University. Oh, really? Go box. Yeah. All right. Go Dr. box. Doctor J. Allen Heineck. He okay. was an astronomer, and they brought him on board, uh, and he was partnered up with uh, you know with the military, and they would investigate um, you know these these weird encounters that were reported. But in large part, now looking back, uh, it was a, the government's way of saying to the public, "Oh yeah, we're investigating these," but they would al- always have a convenient ex- explanation for why it wasn't real. What was interesting about that, though, is by the end, uh, in, in Heineck's later life, he would do interviews, and he's like, look, I absolutely believe that 95% of it is explainable. He's like, but in my experience, there were there was at least 5% of the cases that we took a look at, and they weren't even getting the best cases at this point. You know, this is just the government trying to, like, kind okay. of smooth things over. Um, he was like... It's completely unexplainable. He's like, I don't, I don't know that he ever went so far to to say it's off planet stuff, but he's like, n- not explainable. Okay. So, so that project uh, took place, I think, through I want to say like the 1960s, and then they kind of shut it down. And they've had other projects since, um, but ATIP is the first time they've publicly acknowledged that they have um, an active, you know, program to investigate this stuff. Um, so. Yeah, so what? So I think uh, you know we were talking about earlier. What kicked this off was these senators are like, we want to know what you know. Then, if you guys have been investigating this for a while, uh, we want you to release what information you have on this phenomenon. So they wrote this into the COVID bill, which, which is, is hilarious. It is hilarious. <laughs> it's like it's like uh, we need masks for everyone, and we need to know about <laughs> the UFOs. UFOs. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, did, well, did they? Uh, I mean. Didn't I mean? Did they hold the COVID bill hostage until they could get that in there? I don't know. I don't know how that how that worked. I think they're like, yeah, we'll vote for the COVID bill, but uh, you're putting, I want to see yeah, the aliens. Yeah, you're putting seven million bucks in there for aliens. Is, is it? Do you know what yeah. the monetary value was in the bill? I did, that I don't know. I think I read it, but I don't remember. Okay. I, I just know that. So they basically gave them a deadline. So it's by the end of June, and it's kind of a hard and fast deadline, according to the the people I've interviewed so far on this. Um, but I, anybody who's followed UFOs, even like casually, knows that there there have been attempts to get information released from the government through the Freedom of Information Act. All the government essentially has to do, though, is say, well, you can't read all of it because that would be a threat to national yeah. security, and they redact half of it. So I'm guessing that they will release some. There will be more confirmation of other sightings by pilots, probably. So we'll probably see some more videos. Um, and we'll probably get some more confirmation of that. But for anybody who's like waiting for the government to be like, yo, aliens are real. You know, it's, that's it's, not going to happen. It's not going to happen. I think man. even if the government knew aliens were real, they're not. No, they're not saying shit. No. What's crazy, though, is is Eisenhower's. I think it's his great granddaughter straight up is like, yeah, those rumors about Eisenhower, uh, like my great, great grandfather, whatever meeting with aliens is totally real. <laughs> no <laughs> way. Like, what? Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's this rumor that allegedly has been somewhat substantiated <laughs> by people who were there. <laughs> like there's this he rumor. met with them? Not just he saw them. Right. He met with them and there's some sort of agreement. Camp David. 
Yeah, like an accord thing. Or I've never heard this. So I thought I, I read about this like decades ago, right? When I was a kid investigating this stuff, and I was like, it's fun, you know. Yeah, but I'm yeah. like, no way, you know, like just no way. But the rumor is when he was when he was president, right? He met with aliens and they made some sort of deal. Packed, yeah. So it was an exchange of technology, allegedly. What like, did we get? The microwave, them bre- bre- breast Laser. implants. <laughs> Lasers. I'm not really sure we got anything. Yeah. I think it was. I think, <laughs> Lasers. Honestly, I think they say microchips. I think that was the deal. Microchips. Okay, that's a fair and, trade. Yeah, which kind of led to a lot of things, obviously. But like, so I don't know specifically what ne- technology or whatever. But um, well, I mean, if you if you believe that we've reversed engineered UFO, maybe that's what it was. I, yeah. I don't know. But like the the she thinks, and the rumor is by people who are fully into that theory. Uh, is that this alien race has evolved to the point where they're having repro- reproductive problems, and we've got just great sexy DNA, and so <laughs> they're using they're using us to study to try to figure out the solution to that problem in exchange for technology. Wait, oh, I've what? never heard any yeah. of this. So yeah. Are, <laughs> yeah. Are you saying there's like alien human hybrids amongst us? Are we having that, alien orgies? That is the theory. <laughs> well, what's sad about that though is you just you never remember the alien orgy that you have. You wake up the next day in a cornfield apparently. Is you know? this so like a men in black? This is of, something. Yeah, so you bring, actually sadder. bring up something we have not mm-hmm. touched on at all during this podcast is the abduction stories i'm surprised you guys haven't been abducted because remember the guy the logger in the woods yeah. dude the so so the problem with the whole abduction story <laughs> so so like when when they're when i'm seeing a heads-up display image from an f-18 hornet that's yeah. a lot easier to believe than yes. some dude's story i agree so that is the in in the so first off there are so many abduction stories i know i know um and there are a lot of like weird ones and then I guess if they're trying to study us and like how we bang, I don't know. That kind of makes sense. (laughs) But like there are, I don't like, is there a credible, is there a credible abduction story that stands out to you? Yeah. It's the the one guy. I think. Yeah. Yeah. So there's, so the famous one back in the eighties was Whitley Strieber, right? He wrote the book communion um, and he recounts, but the thing is, I've never heard. Can you tell me what the story is? I've never heard it. So uh, if I remember correctly, I read the book years ago, but if I remember correctly, he was, uh, he had a house out in the woods or something. I don't, I don't think it was his main house, but, uh, he had this cabin or house out in the woods or something. And he, he sees a light coming through his window. And, and I think I want to say like a lot of these people don't remember, they have fragments of memories. And so through like hypnotic regression, which is shaky at best anyway, um, you have to be very careful that because, they've proven over time that like you can coerce memory, false yeah. memories and stuff. But he, he remembers being taken aboard this craft and um, he's kind of changed his tune over the years. It's kind of interesting because the way he paints the picture is that it was this horrific traumatic incident. And now as he reflects back on it, he says, well, maybe it just seemed like traumatic because I didn't know what was going on. And I woke up in this, you know, on a UFO essentially. So like his was a big one, but what was, shaky about it is he also conveniently happened to be a horror writer ah uh, okay the one i think that's the most <laughs> credible is the guy the logger um i've heard this one i I'm the dude that was on name. rogan right yeah. yes the fire in the sky guy yeah, yeah. but other people why why that. do you think that why do you think that's the most credible one so it's it's a group of these guys who didn't all even necessarily like one another uh who are out there it's a crew of like it was like seven or eight people i think it was a decent group of guys who um when so allegedly what happens is they see this they see this light they see this craft that's kind of hovering above the, uh, the ground and the rest of them are you know peeing their pants they're sitting in their pickup truck and uh the, the main guy whose name we should probably figure out um <laughs> he go, was on this is the guy that was on road yeah, right? right yeah so he's curious he goes underneath of it and he gets essentially the witnesses say a beam of light comes down like a tractor beam and just sucks him up into the Aircraft. See, he disappears for days. Yeah, he was gone for like four or five days. Then it's just there's witnesses on this one, which is weird. And then and is this the one where, of murder? Yeah. Is this the one where the people got exposed to like serious amounts of radiation? There's another one. There was. There's always oh, the paint that's a was like stripped thing. off of the car or something. That's yeah. a different one. Yeah. Okay, but the, that's a common thing. Radiation, which makes sense if an object is coming out of, out this of dude, space, it's being bombarded with radiation. So this dude, so. he was gone. What we know is he was gone for like four or five days and yep. then reappeared. Yep. And he claims he was abducted. Mm-hmm. Then I'm like, okay, like, let's say he was lying. Like, what was he? 
Was he just like hanging out in the woods for five days? I guess. But the, why say you're abducted by aliens? Right. They're yeah. all doing acid. Right. Right. Maybe, right. but he was by himself, yeah. right? No, but there's witnesses. That's the, the problem. The rest but of the witnesses guys saw, it saw, saw him like yeah. get and they, sucked up. They freaked out and they took off without him. And then to this day, I'm like, ah, oh, fuck <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Get in the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they took off and I'm they got lucky. back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you're, you're on your own. <laughs> But they, they went back. They go back. I don't even think all of them went back, right? I think a couple of them were like, uh-uh, uh-uh. Nope. I wouldn't. No. Yeah. yeah. What if we saw Sam get sucked up there? I'd get um, it on video at least. <laughs> what's what's your at least take a video? Yeah, yeah. I would. Yeah. I would. <laughs> you get it? Yeah. I'm going to live stream this while you get sucked up in a UFO, and then I'm definitely not coming back. Have there been any really credible abduction stories that have happened in the last like 10 years because all these ones you hear about are super old yeah i don't know i'm sure there are i mean they're 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 ongoing what's what's really interesting so the guy that i interviewed ralph blumenthal from new york times this is the new york times guy who broke the big story help yeah help he yeah. And, uh yeah he he was one of the writers um because actually the same day that the new york times article came out shortly after the washington post and politico also came out oh, okay i didn't know that the story so washington times actually knew about this and they were they were like we need to go now or we're not going to break. This. Yeah. So like they were all kind of jockeying for position, but, um, but he, Ralph and Blumenthal just wrote a book called the believer. And it's a really interesting story. And it's completely based on abductions, which again, I'm with you. I'm like, I don't, that's uh, a little it's harder to believe, but they happen right. so frequently. And I don't understand. They have a lot of commonalities and too. I don't understand what people have to gain by lying about it. I mean, you get, a, I guess, yeah. I guess you get a little famous, yeah, little notoriety. A, I mean, you get a little bit of, you, there's no money. There's in no it. money in it, no. right? Unless, yeah, I mean, you can write a book this one dude, time, right? This <laughs> dude from the New York Times that you talked to, did he think yeah. this stuff is real? I mean, he wrote a book on it. I, yeah, I think, I think he's become uh, a believer in it. Um, so basically this, so the, so the book is about this guy named John Mack and John Mack was a, um, I, I, I want to say a Harvard some very prestigious university, but was a uh, psychiatrist and he uh, thought it was all nonsense. And so he kept hearing all these people who were reporting to have abduction experience. He's like, no. So he starts to work with these people. And by the end of it, he's, he worked with hundreds of people. And by the end of it, he was like, I legitimately believe that these people had an experience and that they're telling this the is the psychiatrist. Yeah. Okay. And so which is remarkable because he came in as a complete and utter skeptic and he's like, I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, and so like uh, he was, I mean, he took some heat from his colleagues, you know, they, uh, you know, some were either interested in, in his research and some were like, this dude's lost his mind. Yeah. But you know, he, uh, he came out a believer on the other side. So anyway, he wrote this book about this guy and it's, it's really interesting. Have you read this book? Uh, I've started to read okay. it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's really interesting because the case is, excuse me. Um, you know, one of the things he does remark is that a lot of these people uh, aren't willing to come forward about I, it. I believe that. Yeah. You know, and so it's not as if they're attention seeking. They he, he basically had to drag people out of their homes and beg them to, you know, recount their story because they're like horrified. And a lot of them, you know, had this viewed as kind of a traumatic experience. So for sure. Yeah. But yeah, there hasn't been one in the last like 10 years that's like. You know what I mean? Like I got it on my cell phone, or like yeah, yeah. my ring yeah. doorbell cam. That's, yeah. that's that's Neil deGrasse Tyson's issue. He's yeah. like on the last story. He's like, no, somebody just take your phone out, and take a picture of an alien. I, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I, I I can rip on that. I, I, yeah, I don't like. I don't disagree with that. But I, I that's the same thing with Bigfoot too. Yeah. Yeah, I I think there's way more evidence for UFOs Yo, than for Bigfoot. Sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, okay, so if it's not aliens, what do you think these things are? Let's say aliens yeah. are off the table. So if it's not aliens, and, and I'm not, and, I, and I'm not so sure that it that it is. It seems it seems to I lean that direction only because technology technology advances incrementally. Like this right. would be a leap right. in technology the likes of which we've never seen. We're talking a completely different propulsion system. That would change humanity forever. Like that's, you know, it, it's unheard of. So to say that the Chinese or the Russians would have come up with this technology and we're spending seven hundred billion dollars a year in defense, like more than the next six countries combined, and like they're ahead of us, there's something wrong there. You yeah. know? And we don't know about it would be the biggest colossal failing when it comes to our um, intelligence agency ever. Like 
You mean to tell me not only did they beat us to it, but we didn't know about it? Like, come on. Sorry, Sam. <laughs> Sam is pulling up these like classic fucking like 80s pictures of aliens over there. <laughs> is this on the screen? Oh, there we go. 1986. What's going on over here? And, you know, okay, so something I was telling my wife about, and I'm like, I, why aren't people considering that these are humans from the future? That's a possibility. That's I feel possibility. like that is more likely than aliens. Yes. They're, they're coming back. Because here's here's another interesting thing. Have you heard about this phenomenon where like these these uh, military officials have come forward and talked about the fact that they worked at like a nuclear silo and UFOs were spotted over. Yeah, I've heard that commonly shut it down com commonly. Yeah. And like the. Uh, you know, everything you hear about is like this massive spike in UFOs since the atomic age started. Yeah. Yep. And that kind of makes sense. It doesn't make sense for the people from the future necessarily, but it makes sense from like a, <laughs> hey, these 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 things have discovered atomic technology. Let's go sniff it out. Like that makes a little bit of yeah. sense to me. Um, but I still like I I try and think of what's most probabilistic and like. It certainly is more probable that these are not aliens, but then, okay, if they're not aliens, like, and, and these aren't like sensor malfunctions, I'm going to assume <laughs> these are not sensor malfunctions. Yeah, like, yeah. what the hell is this? You know, like what, what are yeah. these things? I don't know. That are, but okay, let's say they're not aliens. Okay, so what could it be? It could be people. It's be from, ours. It could be people from the future. We, we hope it's ours. It yeah. could be, it could be military technology, but then it, it, if it is, See, here's the issue with that argument. If it is truly U.S. military technology, they are going to know to stay the F away from current fighters. Or maybe they're like, hey, let's test these FLIRs against, see if they can keep they, it. They would, yeah. they would test it internally. They would yeah. send up one of their guys flying it with the flare. Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. Um, I, I don't know. Well, you could you could make the I argument that that they're making a show of it for our enemies, right? So, like, ru the, you know the Russians but, but and the like, Chinese uh, are but, watching this, like, but they like, what? but like, are yeah. the are the Russians and the Chinese as into figuring out what UFOs are as the, U the U.S. military? Uh, I think this, I think yeah. they are. Yeah, are they? So, I feel like the U.S. has taken the taken the lead here. Well, here's the thing, though. Like a lot of those governments have kept it secret, and we're talking about two, you know, communist governments who don't tell us anything. They don't share shit with Correct. us. Correct. So, like, when the Soviet Union fell, actually, there was a lot of documents that were released about programs that they had um, where they were investigating like, the phenomena as well. Okay. And what's what's actually uh, even more interesting, if you want to talk about other countries like our allies, uh, France, uh, they had a, a very public, I don't know, public, but like it was, you know, out in the open. They had a program, uh, I'm trying to remember the name of it, but... Um, to study the phenomena, they're very open about it. And so that's kind of what got uh, one of the writers from the New York Times interested in because they took it seriously. And they were like, yeah, this is, we're, we're trying to figure out what they are. So, like, not all countries are super secretive. The U.S. takes that stance, but. What do you, you think know, it is? Do you, think, do you think it's aliens? I mean, I, I'm, I'm asking you pick. pick yeah. What do you think it is? I'm, Highest I'm, likelihood. I'm going with aliens. Really? I just don't know if we have. I don't know if we could take the, that leap in technology. The yeah. counterpoint is if their technology is that good, yeah. why are they letting us see them? I, I don't know. You know, maybe it's uh, maybe it's like their own kind of slow disclosure. That's and that's a, that's a point Rogan that, brings up, which is valid. They're flexing. Yeah. Flexing. They're probably looking at us with our nuclear weapons like you idiot kids <sighs> ha hanging on a sticks of dynamite. You're going to blow yourselves up. Stop yeah. it. You know how. Um, OK, so you we have brought this up a few times. Like how much. How much better is this technology? Oh, it's, it's I know. It, so, so yeah. talk, can you can you talk about like so? It is. It's not like thermal, right? Like like they're moving and not producing a heat signature, and it's not making any noise. So it's not producing. They're not producing exhaust. So and this is like this is from the videos we just watched. Like this is yeah. not bullshit. This, this is, is not bullshit. Okay. This is this is what the pilots are are basically testifying to. They're saying like. We were trying to follow these things, and these things were basically like in front of us. Then all of a sudden, in an instant, it's behind us, like, like moving at speeds that we. There's basically these pilots, these highly trained military, like Fravers, like a highly yeah, he's like a, a lieutenant commander or something. Yeah, I know these are really high ranking military officials. I know that that helps and he's the like, story. Dude, we a don't lot. have we don't have anything like this. And he's like the and and what's even weirder about that situation was. They had a, a top secret because they were on this this mission, you know, this training exercise. They had this confidential top secret. I don't know what they call it, destination, uh, where where they like a rally point. Yeah, and the, obviously nobody knows where this this 
point is or you know where this destination and the ufo disappears and the next thing <laughs> the next time they see it it's at their i heard that yeah it's like we're at their rally like point knew, like hi you know <laughs> like so i it, it's i don't know man i just i would have a hard time believing if if it is ours and ours humans you know then i would i would have to say it's got to be the u.s behind it yeah but i i really i really think the u.s military is smart enough to unless they're trying to like just distract us from something like they yeah. would know they're gonna know where <laughs> our fighters are and where our little freaking futuristic ship is going and they're gonna know to send them not to the same place yeah, it's just a major breakthrough for space force and they didn't have the funding to like coordinate with the rest of like the Navy. <laughs> they have a PR guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh shit. Oh, and then, if, and then the question is budget for a PR guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all space force. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a little scary. I mean, it's kind of scary either way, unless it's our technology, which I don't, I don't know. Well, let me ask you a question. Which is, which is, uh, which is scarier? I've I've asked this question to myself. The Russians or the Chinese having this technology, or aliens from another? I think at this point, honestly, I think it's scary. So, so if, let's say it is aliens and they have this technology, they have decided not to kill us. Yes, clearly, clearly. By this point, yeah. If the Russians and the Chinese have you know war fighting technology that is fifty times better than ours, that's way yeah, scarier. We're screwed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't trust humans. Um, you know? which is why I don't know if it is them. You know, I, I, I have no, I see this shit and I'm like, okay, I, I believe this is happening. Yeah. I'm, I'm at least to that point. Like I'm, I'm not one of those, like, I don't think this is a sensor malfunction. Yeah. I truly believe there are hundreds of instances where we have highly trained pilots seeing things up there. Yeah. But like, I don't know. I try and think what's the highest likelihood. And certainly the highest likelihood is not aliens. I don't right. think, but yeah. then <laughs> it breaks down and okay. Wh- if it's not aliens, like we said, like, what is it? And like, I don't, it doesn't make sense that it's our stuff. Cause why are we letting our fighters see it? If it's supposed to be classified as our stuff, that doesn't make sense. to I me. Mean, I mean, why did the CIA like dope up Charlie Manson? Yeah, but they, they, <laughs> they, but they, but they like, they, see what but like yeah. they, they, they weren't trying to get caught doing that. Like right. they are, so, they are fucking with our fighters. Well, maybe it's pretty di- maybe, conspicuous. It's, yeah, maybe it's a distraction. From maybe. what though? From themselves. Just wag the dog. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, the, see, the thing is, is like nothing's off the. I mean, like. Any, it can be anything. It can be anything. I'll throw out a wild card. It can be, it can what, be like, what? hey, we need. I'm to, I mean, aliens, aliens, aliens from I'm, humans from the future is not that crazy. <laughs> <laughs> next next year, like some really small, like insignificant countries, like, oh, hey, guys, that was yes. ours. Yeah. <laughs> Guatemala, <laughs> like ten thousand dollar budget. You know? <laughs> Guatemala's like, yeah, guys, we figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> we got anti gravity technology. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I think I feel like if you think logically, though, the fact that these things exist and they have haven't attacked us yes that's a good thing right and that that has to be a useful data point i agree i totally agree with that so i think i think if you're if you're going with the aliens argument you have to admit that this isn't new phenomenon this has been happening for decades generations yeah really like you can argue at least you could argue you can go like what's the guy with the crazy hair ancient aliens yeah oh Giorgio uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Su- 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 yeah. yeah you can go full he Giorgio. was right the whole time <laughs> like no that's the weirdest thing the guy from blink 182 was right yeah, the whole time yeah. man um but like y- you can go that whole direction and say okay they've just been around forever yeah you know, just watching us evolve or that's whatever. not a terror after given all this it's not yeah. that crazy like maybe right yeah but, like, you have to at least admit that since in the modern era, that, like, at least since the 40s, right? Since, like, Roswell and some of those incidents uh, is a whole other thing. But um, and we haven't even gotten into that. Right. Um, but, like, at least since the 40s. And so, like, you mean to tell me that either we or the Russians or Chinese have had this technology essentially since the 40s and haven't done anything to each other with it? Yeah. Like, there was a scientist recently who was like, so if they are... If they do have this technology and they're spying on us, they certainly haven't used it to their advantage yet. Yeah, no, that's a good the good point going against the fact that it is Russia or China. Yeah, right. it's a good point. And we have just glossed over all the Roswell stuff. <laughs> right. In fact, that's a large... I, I love how they... Wasn't it confirmed, too, that they staged the pictures of the officers holding the weather balloons? Yes. So, yeah. Yeah. 
So they reported it when they initially reported it. Wait, it was what, actually wait, in what, the news. What is this? Roswell. What are we talking about? Okay. 1947. So, so there was a picture after that happened of oh, people uh, with weather balloons? So, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, the military staged it. They brought in a bunch of like weather balloon like debris. So people were like, it's not aliens. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine, okay. guys. It's fine. Okay. Yeah. And then yeah. that was that turned out to be false. Yeah. Yes. So okay. So it, what's interesting, and this just kind of shows you like the the methodology that the military uses. So so this crash allegedly happens in 1947, and uh, was it Mac Brazel? I think was the farmer on his land. Is this is that Skinwalker? Is that the same thing? No, that's Skid, Skidwalker. Utah, Skin. I think. Is it Skin or Skidwalker? Skin. 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 It's Skin. Damn. Yeah. There, okay. there, there's an interesting Stay show about that right I now, know, too. I know, I know, <laughs> Damn it. You, you guys need to check that show out right now, too. They're doing experiments on it. It's bizarre. Wait, what? It's super weird. What yeah, is this? Walker Ranch. There's all sorts of weird stuff. They have I've a physicist heard. out there who's like, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he, he's like, he's so skeptical oh, the whole what, time. And he's at the point now where he's just like, I, I don't, I don't know. Wait, that's with the cattle, right? Where the cattle are getting like gutted. Cat mutilated. I've yeah. heard of skin, skin, skin. W- it's Skinwalker. Skinwalker Ranch. What what is that? So Skin Skinwalker is like this Native American mythology that there are these kind of almost like demon beings uh, that that show up. Um, but it was so it was nicknamed after that. There was a Native American population in the area, but it's in this this valley in I think Utah. And whoever's owned the farm, Robert Bigelow, owned oh it for a while yeah, 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 right, right. He brought in a whole team of scientists who were just like. Like recently, they interviewed one of the guys who's got to be like eighty, and he's like, like "What? What's I think happening? There's a vortex out there. <laughs> <laughs> like, Wait, what? What is happening out there, though? That they don't. I've heard of the cattle mutilation yeah. thing. Yeah. I think that's pretty much it. No, they've, that's the, it. UFO sightings. Oh, really? Uh, they've seen weird, um, kind of like lights pop, popping up. The whole valley lights up out of nowhere. I mean, there's no, they're in the middle of nowhere. There's no lighting out there. They get weird um, radiation that pops up randomly when it feels like it. Uh, all sorts of just very strange paranormal uh, things happen there that take place that don't make any sense. And they've had science teams out there numerous times trying to figure out <laughs> what the heck it is. Yeah, It's bizarre. I don't know. It's very entertaining. The show's on the History Channel right now. But, um, but uh, we were talking about. Roswell? Yeah. 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 We, we glossed over all that UFO. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's yeah. go back to Roswell. Roswell's the granddaddy. Yeah. That's, yeah. Like, that's like the one so, that started so, it. So, um, so first off, I spent a lot of time on Google Earth satellite looking <laughs> at it. Yeah. Sam, have you ever looked at it? Yes, I have. <laughs> so first off, Roswell and that base is a real thing. Yes. True story. You mean Which, yes. Area 51? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Area yeah. S4. 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 Well, there's a bunch Groom of them. Lake. Groom so Lake. if you go, if Dreamland. you just go on. John and I are going to the convention. <laughs> Hell yeah. And August, you want to, you know you want to go with us. We're going to go. Hey, you know, actually, it's funny. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm, I'm actually halfway serious about it because <laughs> of the joking. people that will be there. Wait, where is it? Is it? It's is in this, Las Vegas. Is this the Storm Area 51 no, thing? No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> is it it's like a UFO convention? Yeah. It's uh, So there's this organization called MUFON. It's a mutual UFO network. It's the oldest and largest. Largest um, like UFO reporting organization in the world, and so like you can call if you see something, you can report it. And they have investigators who they train to come out and basically try to figure out like okay. if you're a crackpot or not, and try to corroborate it and stuff like that. So, <laughs> so they have a convention out in Las Vegas, and some of the guests that they have are like military guys. Okay, like some of the guys that you've seen in a lot of these documentaries who are coming forward now. And I'm like, there's a chance I could get an interview. Hmm. Oh, that's true. That'd be worth it. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be worth it. I could expense the um, trip. <laughs> no, I've I've spent a lot of time on the Google satellite looking at that area. So it's, it's interesting. There is actually a... Um, there's a base there. Well, there is a... There's a strip. There's no, a, I, there's a ton of military shit out there. Oh, yeah. yeah. There is a base there that they, that they do chemical weapons research with, though, mm-hmm. um, that looks like all this. So I'm like, I wonder if that's what it was. But like, if you see it out there, I mean, go on Google Satellite. You can see the airstrip. You can see the buildings, see the roads between the buildings. So I'm like, what the hell are they doing out there? T- I mean, t- top research, and, research and development. Yeah, top oh, secret what? aircraft. We don't know. I think I think they admitted that they they tested the uh, the stealth bomber out like there. Like Skunk Works was probably yeah. out there. Or something. Oh yeah. So is that what's going on out there? I mean, think think about like. Do, so do you think Bob Lazar's is telling the truth? I. I think I think what adds there was to his a credibility, hesitant but, pause. But but how do you? Uh, he's telling the truth on something because of the element. I mean, all, oh, a lot of the things that he claimed he have, have been, of. Have been he verified. A, he has a video of it. He does. He has video of an Element 115? Uh, he allegedly had possession of some of it at one point. Yeah, and that's why video. they kept raiding his house. Yeah. Sam, can you 
Google what what actual element one fifteen is. He has video. He has video of. Uh, uh, I forget. Oh, he did that. You're talking about that experiment. Yeah, that it's super on VHS, weird. Yeah, where it's, it's levit glowing. Yeah. Yes. So I don't. So what's interesting about Bob Lazar is that first he came out as this big to do about it, and then like all the detractors came in and tried to discredit him. Maybe because he should be discredited. Maybe because they, you know, they were trying to shut him up without because. You know, he went public intentionally because he didn't want to be murdered, you know. And so what the Fair. next the next best thing you could do is just ruin his life. Right. Yeah. And be like, oh, he never went to this school. He never went to this school. Mus um, Muscovium is element 115. Sorry. Yeah. So element 115 was something that he talked about back then that hadn't been discovered yet. And then I think Russian scientists were able to stabilize it briefly, but discovered that it is a real element. And then there were like the hand scanners and some other things that he knew. I remember him. Yeah, I remember yeah. him talking about that. Yeah, we got Muscovium up on the screen. This is uh, pur purported to be a fuel source, right? That's yeah. the whole thing yep. for the anti gravity things. Yeah. So his claim is that, and he drew in great detail these pictures of this craft that he was hired to reverse Just engineer. No right angles. That's all I remember. Super weird, right? Yeah. No gravity, right angles. anti gravity amplifiers. Yeah. And, um, but yeah, he, he claims that like all these things and initially it was easy to dismiss cause like he had no one backing up his yeah. claims, but in the year since, like more, as more information gets released and more people are willing to come forward, they've started to corroborate some of his story. And so it's like, you have to say, okay, well maybe at least a portion of what he's saying is true. But then like, his, you know, his so shit much, the is, waters are so muddy. His though. shit is crazy. I mean, he wasn't. He like laid it all out there. Like yeah. we had all these crafts. We had this like sphere they tried to cut into or something. And yeah. they, they tried to power it and it powered and by not was, touching it. Yeah, he was working on the propulsion. And it's like, I, to me, I'm like, okay, is this, I got to figure out if this guy's full of shit or not. Right. And if he's not yeah. full of shit, you'll it, never know. Is he, yeah. is, is he just saying some things that are full of shit? Because the stuff he said is nuts. Right. Um, and so I try and figure out and he's, he like, I think him like, like, what does he have to gain about lying about this stuff? And he hasn't really gained anything. And he doesn't really want fame. The like, dude lives in the middle of nowhere so in like, Michigan why, makes fireworks. Right. You know? I, like, did, I, did, I did laugh at the fact that they caught his wife banging the flight instructor. Yeah. 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 It's like, Bob's just making rocket cars all the time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, but, but I, I mean, try he's certainly smart, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And he certainly worked there. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. But I try and think, okay, if this dude is lying, why is he lying? There's no reason to. I mean, he's not really. He got some fame, but it wasn't like he's making money off of this or like, yeah. why would you lie about it? And he's insanely detailed in how he talks about it. And he doesn't do he doesn't do uh, interviews hardly ever. No. But then it's like, okay. There were probably a lot of people that worked there. Granted, this is what, like the 70s, maybe 80s, some of the yeah. 80s. Yeah. So, like, why aren't there more people talking about this? You know, that's a whole thing. And, like, yeah. once again, why don't we have any pictures? I guess it was the 80s. Um, <laughs> that's probably why. Do you, remember, do you remember when we listened to the Bob Lazar pod, podcast? We were driving a pictured rock. Yeah, I mean, overnight. it's um, nice. Yeah. It is compelling. The yeah. Yeah. It is compelling. What is this, Andy? Remember, we drove to. Actually, the three of us, we yeah, drove to Picture right. Rocks. We Remember drove, the Bob Lazar podcast? We drove overnight up to the UP. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were driving through the night. Yeah, yeah. It, Corbell's documentary with him is, yeah. is really I watched that. too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's um, it's like I don't know what to make. I try and like have a level head about this and right. think rational about it. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know. When I, when I hear his stuff, okay, I'm like, I'm, I'm just going to assume he's full of shit. Right. But yeah. then as he talks and like... I'm like, okay, some of it makes sense, but like, there's no real hard evidence. So, eh, but then it's like, we've got all these like reporters talking to him and he's got all these files that prove he worked there and like all this stuff. And he, he's just like, it, it's ruined his life. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, like he's not gained anything from it, from telling about it. It's literally ruined his life. Yeah. Um, so like, okay, then why would he l make all this stuff up? If it ruined, if he knew it may ruin his life. And then like, he's a kind of a wild card. Yeah. Um, unlike the, like the videos we watched earlier where I'm like, okay, I, I can believe this. Like yeah. I'm seeing this, you know, um, and hearing pilots like talk about it as it's happening. That's one thing, but he's a whole other thing. But yeah, I, but I also think, uh, these senators are like, right now is the time to like capitalize on the popularity of it. 
I'm still like, yeah. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills and nobody cares. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was funny when the article came out too, like, you know, not to shit on a you know former presence or whatever, but like we were in an environment where like crazy things were being said and happening oh, in no, news we, we, every we, single day. You can shit on ex presidents. <laughs> okay. <this time>. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. No, that's a, that's a good point though. But yeah, so like, Trump tr- was saying all sorts of crazy shit. And so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so basically, UFOs are real comes out in all these major like very substantial news uh, publications, and and no one notices. <laughs> that that is the insane thing to me. It's like you had a period of time. From Roswell, when was Roswell? Fifties, forty-seven. You had you had a yeah. time period from nineteen forty-seven to twenty fifteen where <laughs> UFOs were like you, you UFOs were in the like in the common at like in culture, in the house. right? And, and then they're like, "Hey, we got them," right. and nobody yeah. cares, right? You know, it's a, it's a, I mean, we're, we're so we're so just numb, I think, to things that are just outlandish and crazy now. That like I think may, maybe they were just like. Now's the perfect time. And, like that's actually a that's a good point. You know, yeah. like if the government's like, okay, we know we have UFOs, we got Trump as president. Just now's the time. Yeah, out just there. Yeah, we told you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I was actually hoping Trump and you know him being Trump would uh, you, you know kind of spill lips. the beans on yeah. all this stuff. You so, know? No, you know damn well. Nobody would have believed. You know, going to brief him no, on that. You know <laughs> damn well. The mail dealer is like, we're not telling Trump this. Uh-uh. uh-uh. No okay, way. Okay, okay, He'll okay, tweet okay. about it yes. from the toilet now. No, way. <laughs> no, it's kind of interesting yeah. to think about that, though. And like, who is the establishment that knows about this in the government historically? Like, is it I the don't DOD? Know. I don't know. If is there it is. the CIA? I, no, I, there, there surely is. Oh, yeah. the military does because yeah. ATIP was a program. In so is it, so, right. so it's it's like the Air Force or it's like some some team. Like there is a group of people so, somewhere yeah. in so, the military. This is their job. So right. uh, here's an interesting story. So when like the British, when they research it, they don't call it UFOs. They call it uh, uh, UAPs, which I think is a fair. Right. Yeah. Because they can't get funding. Yeah. If they say UFO, UFO. Yeah. And that's a shame. And so, so if they put threat in the definition, then like we need to fund that, right? Because if there's something that's a threat, what's well, true though? Yeah. So that so that's where we stole UAP from was yeah. partly because of that, and partly because the, the the term UFO had been stigmatized to such a degree that everybody. I mean, look look at the the woman who asked uh, Jen Psaki, yeah. the uh, White yeah. House press secretary. Like, she couldn't get the question out without giggling. Yeah. You know what I mean? That, we're still there. We're still there. And then I mean, she got the question out, so that's great. But like. UFO was so stigmatized that they they literally had to change the name. So now we can say UAP, and that that's that's legit. I know it's yeah. unidentified aerial phenomenon. Right. I like that. I like UFO. It's old school. Well, Nick Nick Pope uh, in that same article I was talking about earlier, the guy from uh, the UK who worked for the Ministry of Defense, had a really interesting argument for why there hasn't been disclosure yet. And we've always been told it's because well. The, the general populace will freak out, you know, it, like everyone will panic. It'll be mass chaos. And he's like, no, that's not it at all. He's like, the reason is because if if they're real and if this is alien technology, the first country that gets a hold of that technology runs the planet. Yeah. You know? And he's like, like, if you have that, you don't want your enemies to know. Like, you know, you want to be the first one to get your hands on. on I mean, if we're talking anti-gravity technology, the fact that you can go at ridiculous speeds and then not even stop and go right into the water without, yeah, you know, pancaking. Like it, we're talking free point. energy. Yeah, yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. So like the, the amount of power that these things would be, uh, would need to create that kind of gravity. They're, they're saying that this is like limitless, like energy. You'd be able to power the entire planet indefinitely. So like we're, we're talking that's like bold massive. Statement. Yeah. We're talking massive technological advancements. Like if this technology is real, I think I, I I'm definitely for it being real. Just watching those things. Yeah. I don't think they're sensor malfunctions. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. I, yeah, I thought that. we were fans um, of Neil here. There's, yeah. so, there's something moving fast up there. <laughs> Um, it's a sensor malfunction. I like how Fravers like they're like, "Were you scared?" He's like, "No, I want to fly one." Yeah, so, he did yeah, say buddy. that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and uh, do they really think it's going Mach fifteen? Yeah, really. So like based on the video there's not footage, a thing in there. It's got to be a drone, right? It could be. Yeah. So one of the so one of the theories is that uh, oftentimes they'll see uh, a larger object and they'll see smaller craft come out of it. 
And that really? Well, that I, it, I've never heard this. Yeah. So, so, so the second part of the Nimitz story, because there were re- very recently there were two guys who were working aboard the ship. Yeah. That came out and they're like, "Well, it's declassified now, so we can talk about it." Uh, but they basically were like, "Yeah, we were. We basically witnessed multiple craft." And they were circling around this object that was just below the surface of the water that was about the size of a 747. Okay, I didn't know this. Yeah. And they sent they sent all sorts of stuff to try to like figure it out. Submarines, all sorts. Of oh, stuff. I didn't know this. Yeah. It's off the coast of California? Yeah, off uh, Catalina Island. So there's actually a show. Fucking Catalina Island. Too much white wine. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's actually a show recently that it's it's a really fun show that I, I watch anyway, but they do all, all sorts of different weird investigations. So they recently went out to investigate this, and uh, Lou Elizondo himself actually came out and went with them. They tried to scuba dive down uh, to take a look because he's like, there's got to be something under the water here. And they sent down, but it's so deep, they can't dive down that far. So they okay. send down this one of those deep-sea submersible things. This thing is recording video. It gets about halfway down. It sees a flash of light, and then the camera goes down. Oh, I have I not heard any of this. Yeah. yeah, so it's called Expedition X. It's a show on, um, what is it on? A&E, maybe, or something like that? Discovery? Discovery. Um, it's legit if it's on Discovery. Yeah. yeah. Everything else, not yeah. legit. Not legit. No. Discovery Plus, all your paranormal <laughs> dates right there. <laughs> but like, so this thing like turns off. So there's one guy who's who's on this boat and there's another woman who's got, um, and I interviewed this guy who works for MUFON who's like, he, they interviewed him on the show and he's like, that camera that they're using, that is some very expensive technology. So they had this camera called a DAP camera and this thing is focused on the sky and it's connected to computer software that's designed to identify anything in the sky. So like you see like little objects go past and you see it track it. And then it's like, you know, commercial aircraft or whatever, or satellite yeah. or planet, you know, and they caught something. It's like unidentified. Oh, and you see this thing go. Whoop, whoop. Oh shit. And then, so she, anyway, she's up there paying attention to this camera and this guy's down there trying to drop this deep sea submersible down there. And he's like radioing her. He's like, this thing just turned off for no reason. So he pulls it back up, gets the camera to work again. So now it's working. And he's like, it's fine. So he drops it down. And all of a sudden, she's standing up on the hillside. And you see this ball of light just go right out of the water. Straight really? up in the sky. Yeah. It's like in Sphere where it just comes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what are... What are the odds? Like this is just some Tony Stark dude in his shed. <laughs> it's Richard Bronson. That is, I mean, it's it's Elon. That, that, it's Elon. That, uh, it's Elon. It's Elon that, Musk. That, that, that could be a possibility, right? Absolutely. Just some dude who's like, I got it. Yeah, like the next Tesla could be out there with the right funding, and he's just like, all right, I got it. You know. I oh, mean, it's crazy. Occam's Razor says it's probably somebody somewhere figured this out, right? Yeah, right. But like. Deep down, we all are like, it's, it's aliens. It's, it's, it's aliens. Yeah, because that opens up a, a world of possibilities, right? Like, there's we're not alone in the universe, and there's some other race that's way more advanced, that's older than us, is visiting, and we now could have the potential to travel to other places in the, you know, in the universe. Aliens is definitely the sexier. Oh yeah, it's definitely the sexier yeah. outcome. I'll give you that. Do you, think, do you think aliens are hot though? I don't know. I mean, they, they yeah, want they want to bang no, us. No, this is what it, I've been no, hearing. It's the gray a, guys, not so it's much. It's a sexy theory. It's oh, a sex. Yeah. That's what I mean. Sorry, yeah. sorry. It's a sexy <laughs> theory. It's a it's um it's a seductive theory. Mm. Like mm-hmm. it's really cool to think about it. But I have to think. Okay, what's the highest? Like I I don't know. You know I don't. It's but like there's any be sexy aliens. Or I would hope right? so. <laughs> I would hope do you, so. Yeah. Do you, Do you think it's more likely than not? That there are aliens or yeah. sexy ones? Oh, um, <laughs> I don't like. I, That's a so, great question. So, all right. So here's That's not a good question. No, I mean, no, no. If it's more likely or not that they're aliens, oh, not yeah. that if they're sexy aliens, <laughs> right? Yeah. No, yeah. no. This has nothing to do about their sex appeal. We can talk about that later. <laughs> I would, exactly. I would like to talk about that too after this question. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I would as well. So, so I, I probably ruined a date once by by getting way too hard <laughs> on this one, but. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, you don't want to go out again? Why not? It's so weird. Um, I don't know what happened. But um, we were so so she asked me the question. She's like, she's like, do you think aliens are real? Wait, were you on a date and this got brought up? Yeah. And okay. you're like, oh boy, okay. here we I'm go. Like, you're in my wheelhouse. <laughs> I'm like, you either ask the right guy or the wrong one. I don't know. Okay. You decide. All right. All right. You know, so I was like, 
I was like, all right, so there's there's two two questions in there, in my opinion. Like, are aliens real in general, and are aliens real in here? Yeah. You know, so like, are aliens in, uh, real in general? Hundred percent, yes. So there's a there's a mathematical equation. I'm with you on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm with you on this. So scientists have this crazy equation. Like the probability is is so Earth like planets. Yeah. yeah, even in the Milky Way alone, it's like twenty billion. Yeah, right? and then the visible universe is like twenty billion trillion. So math says there's a there's an alien out there somewhere. There right? are a billion galaxies. Yeah, isn't that insane? There's yeah. way more than that we can see. Yeah, that we can see. Isn't that insane? Yeah, Just think yeah. about that. There's a there's, billion. There's like, there's like trillions of galaxies. Really? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So, cl- uh, cl- uh, so uh, yeah, I'm with you. I buy the yeah. fact that the probability that there's some advanced so life out there is a certainly or just a given. Life yeah. in general, right? Or something. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, like to say that we're alone is such an arrogant right. idea. Correct. I agree with that. So that that's one thing. Like I'm I'm 100 percent on board with that. To say that there are aliens and are further advanced than we are and have figured out how to leap across <laughs> huge vast distances of space, I don't know. I, I'd like to think so. I like to say, like I was getting in an argument with my buddy the other day. He's like, well, you know, the sun, the sun would have died off by the time they're that advanced. I'm like, not really, dude. Like, yeah, our sun's middle aged. And so to say that, like this technology a thousand years from now. Right. That's not that's why it's people from the future. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which theoretically would be possible if you could bend space time. I feel like yeah. I feel like people from the future is probably as likely <laughs> as I'm aliens. On board. I'm on board with you. If but then it's like, yeah. why are they coming back here? Are they maybe they're trying to change yeah. things and we just don't know that they're changing it's things? Terminator. It's the Goobex. It's Terminator. Uh, it's the yeah, the inflation is so bad. They're going back to take our jobs. It's Skynet. We just don't know about it. Yeah, yeah. but so I really do think I, I think that's not a crazy possibility. No. Or some other place. Nobody wants to come back to this time. Well, maybe they, maybe they maybe they <laughs> fucked up, Sam, and they gotta come yeah. back. And they Sarah Connor's got a kid, <laughs> <laughs> right. right? And Skynet's taken I'm over. I think it's unlikely, but uh, yeah, Sam, what do you think me. these things are? Well, of course they're aliens. Yeah. You, you yeah. think one hundred percent they're there aliens? Go. There we go. I think so. Yeah, yeah. Why you not? think one hundred percent? I'm like 90% sure they are. I mean, U.S. Sam, advanced Sam, technology. Sam's an amateur astronomer. Sam of is course, an astronomer. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they came from somewhere in the galaxy, but who knows where. You're talking on You're the talking wrong side, the wrong side, side of the mic, like, dude. <laughs> <laughs> See how much better this is going to sound? Uh, yes, yes. Yes. There we go. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. So you think Sorry. 100% chance aliens? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you, you left. Wow, bit. Sam. I, 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 I'm not much of a skeptic. I mean, I mean really? I thought why, you were. I why why you were would you be a skeptic at this point? What more do you need? I need to see them. <laughs> what, 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 what if they're not like like corporal beings? What if they're just like? I, I, I'm with it that these a, ships could AI? not have people in them. What not not have like, things yeah, in yeah, them. Yeah. What, what, we, what, we the, could, what if they're not people as we know it? Ooh. I think that's a fair uh, point. We could you go, think they're robots? Like, like AI. No, no, no. What, what, no. what if they're they're just like they they're not like you know. They're just like pure energy beings, and that they, they, they just come in with these pods. Uh, Sam, Sam, Sam did not come up with that theory, by the way. I, I did that not theory is out there. No, I, I've heard it before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a real okay. theory. I heard, I'm gonna have I heard pure, in. Can we, pure they're, they're, they're just from a different beings? density than we are. And, and, Can we go uh, full interdimensional travel? But they, they I, have, I think we they have yeah. some yeah. sort of craft that is like. Well, yeah, that can contain their essence. Yeah, so they, they have some sort of, like, craft. Like, they're in there. They're That's 3D. Good. That's good bourbon. Do you, you, do want, you want some more? I, I, I don't know. Yeah, oh, right yeah. there. Yeah, are, are, are they 3D? Yeah. Who, who, yeah. who knows? Uh, so, okay, I, 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 I buy, like, their, that these ships we're seeing in these things, like, I buy that there's nothing in them. Like, organic. Yeah, I, I don't think there's any little green men in there. Well, but you, you're saying they could be beings comprised oh, yeah. of power? Yeah, though they, they just be, you know, just a, just a you scotch. know, beings of pure energy that uh, you, you know, they're basically, you know, they just, you know. Okay, all right. Here's a here's a fun thing to talk about. Let's say, <laughs> you know, let's say This is all fun things to I know. talk about. Let's say, okay, let's say they I'm are to tap into that spirituality <laughs> side you just got going here. Yeah. Let's say they are aliens. Like why? What do you? Th- why are they here? What are they doing? Fucking with our F eighteen Hornets. Yeah. Like, what are they doing? 
I personally, I think I think they're here because I think we set off a nuke back in the forties, and that but, caught but, the attention of the but, universe. But, but that was seventy years ago, right? So what have they been doing in the last seventy years, and why hasn't it changed? I, I think, I think a, a theory would be that we still have a ton of nukes, and we're we still, and we're not getting smarter. It doesn't seem like, uh, and I think they're. I, if I was an alien race, and do you uh, think they think we pose a threat to them? Potentially, yeah. If we if we had the ability to travel to other planets and we're already just destroying the one we have, like. But we our ability. You think these these aliens would? We're like you, the shitty vacationers. You know what I mean? But but like <laughs> let, let, let's assume let's assume that these aliens have a good grasp on our current state of technology because they they okay they would know that we pose no harm to them realistically, oh, yeah, yeah. right? We can't, yeah, we yeah, could. So it kind of shoots a hole in that argument. I, I get the argument of them watching us. Right. I think they think we're going to harm ourselves. Kill ourselves? But yeah. then why Why do they care? I don't know. I mean, I think I'd like to think that if they haven't, you know, uh, farmed us out as alien food yet, you know, and they haven't been aggressive in any way. Like, if, if, you're, if you're into the uh, idea that they're like a benevolent race who are like further advanced and, and uh, you know, just on a higher level, you know, than we are, then you would, you would hope that they see the potential in our growth. If we can survive long enough to reach it, you know, that they, then why aren't they there. helping us? Maybe they are. Well, maybe they are. By oh shit. Yeah. Maybe they are. Maybe I, Eisenhower, I, I, Eisenhower did me with them. Eisenhower did have a meeting. Yeah. So maybe, I, I, maybe they need us. Well, they need us to figure out how to bang more. That's another <laughs> well, thing. Well, no, man, I, I mean, you know, think about, you know, they're thinking of things on like a much longer time scale than we are. Yeah, thousands, tens of thousands of years. So I, I buy the argument that if it is a super advanced race, that they would be benevolent towards us. Let's hope so, man. I know. I think. Yeah. I actually I think, think we can yeah. assume that. Yeah. I think benevolence and peace they, they, they would is have a, ripped us. Up yeah, I, I think. I yeah. think benevolence and peace is a sign of a more advanced. Because like fighting and killing is a waste of resources, and it's not smart to do that. Well, and we don't send bros into space either, right? It's our nerdy scientists. So it's That's probably true. their nerdy scientists who are like, hey, guys. That's you true. Know, like, That's a good point. That's yeah. a good point. Yeah. They might have some bro aliens back on planet X. <laughs> they definitely. We're all just flexing at the gym. Doesn't like, um, <laughs> now, doesn't yeah. Bob Lazar actually have, like, talk about the specific planet he thinks they came from? I think. Is Zeta Doesn't reticulized? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the one. That's the, yeah. where the grays allegedly come from, right? The little gray guys. But here's to, to back to what you're talking about earlier. Like one of the theories is that the the little gray guys are actually essentially like uh, somewhere in between a robot and like organic. Okay. But they're essentially like these little droid guys that they send out who can survive the conditions of space or whatever and just observe. So that would make more sense to me. Yeah, yeah that's a completely uh, legitimate argument. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, when are we, we going to combine our interests, though, guys, to talk about um, Bigfoot piloting the uh, the, the, uh, the UFO yeah. through dimensions? You know, like the interdimensional traveler, Bigfoot. I mean, Sasquatch. It, it is um, Sasquatch. Yeah, it's a space a space squatch. <laughs> Someone out there has to turn that into a T-shirt. Like, I know, tomorrow. right? I know. I, I, although, I, you know, I'd be curious. You know, you never hear about campers and backpackers. Telling stories. No, about there's UFOs. people in the chat talking about it. Really? Yeah. I've never seen anything oh, crazy. Let's, let's read some of these. Sam, is there anything in the chat? I'm sure there is. Got something about angels here. Um, oh yeah, I've heard that one too. Yep. yep. It's a other. There is a religious spin to this. I guess you could make right. There's definitely a mystical oh, aspect to it. Yeah. Um. I mean, we could probably fill a whole podcast with it. Not gonna lie. One one of the interviews I just recently did. The guy is very much uh, on that. Really? Yeah, he thinks he thinks Bryce says they're the guardians of the planet. <laughs> yeah, he, he basically he basically thinks that uh, that these that these aliens are these much Bryce, older. Bryce said that more evolved, uh, you know, um, beings or whatever, and it's a very much a, a spiritual kind of bent to it. Where once we realize as human beings that we're not all each other's enemies, and that we <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well Wait. done, Sam. Yeah. Sam, perfect timing Sam, on that. Sam, can you find a picture of Bigfoot piloting a, uh, a UFO? Okay. Sam, solid <laughs> job on that. Yeah, X-Files probably. Theme song, drop. <laughs> but yeah, so he thinks he thinks there's definitely a spiritual element to it. But once we realize that we're part of a, co- a collective whole and we stop killing each other and realize that that's never fixed anything, um, that, you know, We'll, we'll, we'll evolve as a, as a species. That's a really good, cool point. Cause I, yeah. I think about sometimes about how 
if we did know <laughs> that aliens he did find is this, on, <laughs> is this on the screen sam yes. can people see this oh my god so wait, where's the shirt <laughs> i think i think beam up bigfoot yeah <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. I I do think though, if we were to find out aliens exist, how much that would upend re- current state religion? It, it would Some certain. Now, now John's got good. Yeah, you got. Well, no, I, I, I think you're, you're I, getting I think, into my other world. I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I personally I know. think it would destroy. No, us. but you know, Sam, it's you gone. know those religious zealots would, would find a way to justify it, and they would change. Yeah, it, it, it would you just know what it crumble is? and wither away. I'll no, tell. I'll tell no. you what they're doing right now. I what, are so. they getting ready? Are they getting ready? Uh, they're getting ready in to the extent that so like so. <laughs> Because I'm trying to start this podcast out, um, you know, on social media, I'm trying to follow people that make sense, right? Yeah. So I, there's this one uh, social media feed that I followed it without doing due diligence on it. And then I started to see this person's posts in my feed. And this guy is obviously hyper conservative religious. Okay, of course. And he's like, you guys need to stop buying into the UFO thing. These are demons. <laughs> They're demons. And I'm like, bro, that seems even more logical. You know, they got some pretty sweet space tech. If yeah. they're demons, <laughs> like so, demons need a ship, huh? Like they can't just I'm cool levitate. With that. Yeah. yeah, my demons levitate. I mean, Sorry is there yours. is there any? I've played Doom before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a true story. Dude. Is there any wiggle room in any of the main current <laughs> religions for aliens? Oh, absolutely. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The people who say that 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 aliens would be uh, would, would contradict like the Bible, for example. They're, 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 I mean, they would, right? No, no, no. Like, I there's guess nothing th- in there that says anything about aliens not being real or yeah, they're not being point. creation outside of Earth. But, do, but don't, oh, really? There's, Mm-mm. I haven't read the Bible, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. No. no, but there are like, but that's not, that's not bullshit. Like, if no. there is creation outside of Earth that does not go against the Bible. Well, the, the Bible just doesn't talk about it. Okay. Right. So the, the, the Bible is, it's, it's a lot of like, you know, mythological vehicles. Right. Uh, that, you know, try to explain like the history of creation or whatever. So it talks about creation here on Earth, but it but certainly by no means excludes it creation doesn't elsewhere. Say, yeah. What There's about nowhere like in the Bible that's just like and only here. What about know? um are you familiar with like the Quran or any other Yeah. The, like is it is it the same case in those religious texts? Yeah. So like the so so Islam and, and Judaism, they're all offshoots right right, so right like um so yeah i don't from from now i'm not as well versed in the crown but i have studied a, to some extent and like i i don't think there's anything i think what it is there's there's no mention of it right so there's there's no mention explicitly in any of the sacred texts okay about like life on other planets because i think we're talking about like but people that were very you know oh, there's, there's some, no astronomy back there's then. some comment that they're <laughs> fucking <laughs> cracking up about right yeah. now what Here's my counterpoint. <laughs> it, Wait, says, what? it said, Alan says, read the Bible, Kevin. And it's Sam Bose. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin shall read the Bible. <laughs> Here's what I'm saying. Here's, I have not read the Bible. I don't, I don't plan on reading the Bible. It's got some here's, fun stories in it. Here's, <laughs> if you like incest. I, here's the thing. I'm, I'm, here's, that's true. There's some in there. Fair. <laughs> I'm not poo pooing. I, I, I feel like so I don't know enough about religion to get into this conversation, but I feel yeah. like religion makes the point to say that they know a lot about what's going on in terms of creation of humans. Yeah. So <laughs> that's a whole nother podcast. But so I think I think there will be a lot of Western Christians, specifically in Christianity. I think there are probably a lot of older religions, maybe Eastern ones that would be fully um, welcoming and they would embrace like you know, alien races coming okay. down. I think, and this is my own opinion, Western Christianity, it, because they've taken such a literal approach yeah. to it. They're uh, fucked, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Their whole paradigm is going to just... <laughs> that's what, that's, see, that's, the, that's yeah. what I'm referring to in my head. Okay. They'll, they'll find, a, they'll find yeah. a passage in there that has nothing to do with what they're talking about. Uh, completely take it out of context and be like, see, God said there are no aliens. I'm like, it's because you want to be exclusive. Yeah. It's this exclusive club. Um, 
it's a human mindset. centric sort of uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, philosophy. No, no. I don't, and I don't think like I, I'm if there if aliens exist, I don't think that shoots down the notion of a god. No, right. I don't. I don't necessarily think that if there's a higher no. power that created the universe, they probably create and aliens. In creation, they probably create aliens. Yeah, like then, then creation just continues on, right? Now here's what exponentially. If, what like if we just, take the Prometheus aspect? What if the aliens created us? It's possible. Oh, yeah, I think Prometheus. Martian seedlings. That's, that's great. I love Prometheus. I mean, it's it's it, what it, I mean. That is Why as not? logical as some of the things we're talking no, about. Here like, we go. Like they. Cre- <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite show growing up. <laughs> Man, a plus Sam. Sam. A Sam, plus. Can Here's we- the but like it makes sense to me. Like, let's say aliens created humans. Yeah. They're here to check up on us. Yeah, they're they're they're. It's not, it's not that dish. crazy of a thing, you no. know. Especially if, if if like they're an interplanetary species, <laughs> right? Yeah, they're, they're probably have seeded a couple other places. We're basically the chia pet. Yeah, it's not. It's yeah. not like that crazy of a thing to think no, about. No, right? Not at all. Not at all. We're going deep into that. We're going deep. Sam, can, can we talk about the X Files real quick? Yeah. <laughs> I was doubting Sam at first, but no, he's really Sam's been it. on point tonight. I, when when does Fox? All right, so Fox was bought purchased by uh, how Disney. Can, Correct. How come they have Correct. Not, how come they have not done a revamp? That's well, they what they I'm did saying. a revamp like three years ago well, with the original cast, but like now is the prime time. Like everybody's all uh, know, all about the UFOs. Like spinoff. Let's Get go. Out. Jessica Chastain as Scully. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Who'd, be, who'd be Mulder? Now? I don't know. That's a great question. I'm a Ryan huge Reynolds. fan of Jessica Ooh. Chastain. Yeah. Yeah. Ryan Reynolds. Yes. Yeah. I, just, I, just, I, just, I tried to pick the like, biggest, I hottest how redhead. Can I big of a huge fan I am of her? Of Jessica, Jessica Chastain. Chastain. <laughs> I, am a, I am a thousand percent with you. Jessica I'm a, Chastain I'm a Ryan, Ryan Reynolds. Pale right ginger. <laughs> you know? Like, uh, who's... Think, the, one, the, the, the one from the Big Lebowski. I think oh, you... Um, you know what I'm talking about? I think you just had Julianne Moore. Actually. Oh. Julianne think, Moore. It puts the lotion on itself. <laughs> that was Julianne Moore, right? No, 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 no. no, no but she no, was in no. the she yeah. was in the later one. That was Jodie Foster. Oh yeah, yeah. it was. Yeah. But didn't Julianne Moore do the like third one? I think or something? so. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It yeah. was so you're, not, you're not off track. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it yeah. was. Jody I think Foster. you should just have David Duchovny. He he, he can still he is still he can still do it. But we 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 I gotta get a hotter younger chick in too, right? David Duchovny and Jessica Chastain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, they, I, they won't even like, that. Just like they'll be like, uh, they'll be like, uh, this yeah. is Scully, and they won't talk about how she's a totally different actress. It, it doesn't she matter. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody, nobody <laughs> asks those yeah. questions. Yeah. It's Hollywood. They don't ask me. Well, do you remember, remember the reboot? They tried to pull that off. They had like these two new uh, investigators, and one of them had red hair. Exactly. Yeah. No, nobody knew the difference. <laughs> and everybody was like. Who are these two? Um, but didn't they do? They did a. They did a. So first two. off, my wife and I, we did watch all of the original X Files. Same. But they did a reboot a couple years ago, right? They did, like, they did two seasons, right? Yep. Or they did. Yeah. What sucked? That. What sucked was the first season was not great, and they tried to squeeze too much into six episodes. And then the second time they brought it back, they did twelve episodes, and it felt more like the original. But by that point, people were too like pissed off. Yeah, I know. Me too. It's time for a rewatch. The, the last season, man, was was great. But the movies by that are point, good too. Well, the first one. Yeah, the second one. Second yeah, was, yeah, second I went to the weird. midnight pre- premiere yeah, of that first one. First one's good. And I was like, what? what? Is that one the one where they're in the snow? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was a little weird there. Yeah, yeah. What's his name? The Scottish comedian who I love? Yeah. <laughs> I forgot yeah. about that. Reboot that shit right now. What okay. um? What's your favorite like um, go-to things to watch regarding aliens? Uh, I feel like there's a lot of good documentaries out right now. There's one that just came out by this director named James Fox. It's really good called The Phenomenon. Uh, it's really good. Is it on any streaming service? Yeah, I think it's, I want to say it's on Amazon Prime. It's called The Phenomenon? Yeah. All right, my wife, take notes. We'll watch that. <laughs> that the one's really phenomenon. good. Phenomenon. Okay, Amazon Prime, okay, uh, potentially. I think there's one, there's another guy, uh, Stephen Greer, who... Oh, ah, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Dr. Stephen dude. Greer. He, he, I, I can s- hang with him until he starts s- meditating aliens into existence. Sometimes <laughs> I think he's full of shit. Yeah. But that's another one where it's like, this guy is an emergency room physician. Right. He clearly is smart. He, he went to medical school. But he, he would still be full of shit. I know. That's the thing. And he well, and then I was with yeah. him, and then uh, then he started saying some weird shit. I'm like, uh, okay. Even Rogan thinks you're a little weird. It was the meditation yeah. out of the desert. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, let's me- meditate till the aliens show up. Yeah. I'm like, but what? Does, does he have a show? So he has a couple documentaries. There's one called, I think it's called The Day Before Disclosure. And so, like, to his credit, like, where, wherever you stand on him, because I'm I'm not real sure either. Yeah. Um, he does have the ability to pull a lot of other credible former military, former government people together. So they actually did this, this big um, kind of fake 
like uh, con- congressional hearing thing. They well, they try to get Congress to do it. Congress is like nah, and then they did one anyway. So they brought in all these guys who who used to work. So like you know there there was like a guy who worked on one of the nuclear silos who was like yeah, um, everything shut down and we freaked out and didn't know what was going on and a UFO was basically shooting a beam into our nuclear silo. Hmm. So they had all these like guys like that that they got together. And so to his credit, he got a ton of really credible witnesses together in one place. And they all basically just testified to the experiences that they had. So yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like anytime I'm with you, anytime he starts going off on a tangent about this is what the aliens want. I'm like, how do you know? Like, come on. Who, um, who do you think is like the most credible person to listen to about this stuff? Um, that's a good question. Yeah. Is it Jeremy Corbell? Uh, he's so biased. He, yeah. And it's hard not to get excited. And I get that. Um, cause but no he, but, one should but, listen to me either in yeah. that regard. Cause I want him to be aliens, yeah. you know, but, but, he's yeah, but you're at least like me, you're taking a calculated logical approach to it. Yeah. Like, okay, let's, let's weigh what we see, what we know against what's probable. You I, know, I, yeah. I, I think, I don't know. I think you just got to, uh, just got to look at all the military footage that's been released. That is the yeah. the, the credible thing. I don't like that's the feet, all like do. that's all. It's just, whether you think it's aliens or not, that's yeah, that's fine. But then it's like, well, what is it? Right, exactly. I but know. but it's, but at least the government is saying we don't we, know. We, we don't know. Yeah. We don't know. Yeah. That's even scarier though. Yeah. yeah. God damn. We so spend a trillion dollars on our military. They can't figure it out. Uh, right. <laughs> I mean, what do you think? Because I I've thought about this too. It's like what what is the motivation like? To the Navy, all of a sudden, after decades of denial, saying like, "Yeah, that's real. We don't know what it is." I think, I, I think, I think it's money. Do you think so? It's everything comes down that's to a, money. That's a great point. I oh, think. What, what, what you mean in terms of like get getting funding, more funding? funding. Yeah. yeah, everything comes Dude, down. Dude, that's to money. a good point. No, every, because oh. I mean, Andy just killed our dreams just now. Well, I know, but no, there's a, there's another <laughs> there's another thing that 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 another way you could spin it in that. They want to completely destigmatize this because they know that there have been probably tons of instances of this happening where people haven't talked about it and they don't want that to happen. Oh, God, there's one I forgot to tell you about. Oh, well, yes. let's hear it. Uh, there was an incident where UFOs literally flew over the White House. What? What? Yeah, they scrambled jets. Is there any Google thing? that? Is it when did it happen? I don't remember. Sam is Sam's Sam's pulling out a Halloween clip special. of the Get Halloween Sam. special from The Simpsons over there. <laughs> you were you were off topic, yeah. Sam. <laughs> Wait, you there? When was this? Uh, see, that's not, I don't remember. He's gonna have to Sam up, Google but. UFOs over White House. Yeah, yeah. Jets scrambled. <laughs> oh yeah, throw that in there. Real scrambly. Do we have a year on this? No, we do not. Just uh, it's the only time I, I believe it's ever happened. So you should p- pull up whatever. That one I don't know as much about, but I was like, wait, what? It was in um, Pentagon. Oh, okay. I can't see anything. Hold on. <laughs> I got a bunch of ad blocks on there, Sam. It's not making your job any easier. <laughs> All these sites are like, please disable your ad block. <laughs> I, I don't, I'm going to say that it was probably long enough ago to the point where there's, there's probably no, no like, video footage. Yeah. Yeah. But you can, you can probably Google it. So you that. think the Navy's making all this shit up to get some money? No, no, no. They're not making it up. I'm just saying it's being popularized to, oh. for funding i don't think anybody's making it up. i think I, I that's very very feasible that makes a lot of sense makes a lot of <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> sam, oh sam put that on the screen wait <laughs> that wasn't a documentary <laughs> <laughs> sam found the first credible footage Do you mean to UFOs? tell me bill pullman was not president <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> hey, great movie. Next yeah. thing you're going to tell me is that Will Smith great isn't movie. an actual hero. Great movie. How dare you? Um, <laughs> I, I, I buy, so, I don't know. I, I also buy the fact that I think the military knows this is happening more than they're getting a record of. And well, by coming out and saying it, I Christopher think. Christopher Mellon. Yeah but, yeah. but here's the thing, too. Like, politicians <laughs> can get popular and boost their numbers from this, too. True. So, yeah. True. And, and, by the way, this is one of the few bipartisan topics this as well. true. Yeah, what for, did Reagan some, say? for some reason the Republicans seem to really be digging in. Well, into this, they're though. they're playing the defense card. It's yeah. a fair point. I know. It's, I think it's, it's a, a fair point. It's absolutely a fair point. Well, did you guys hear? <laughs> so what? <laughs> so, put that on the Wait, screen. Wait, who is that? Put that on the screen. <laughs> is that a young Hillary it's Clinton? Hillary Clinton. Oh my God! <laughs> Hillary Clinton. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> 
They're not. They're See, not, this they're kind not of shit happens. That that's, they're not suggesting that's Chelsea, are they? <laughs> she adopted it. Oh no! Uh, space creature survived UFO crash in Arkansas. <laughs> yeah, this is the problem with all this shit. Is there's this kind of stuff? Um, well, and the, and if the if the military if if this shit is real and the military like denied it and put up misinformation for decades, then the the waters are so muddied right now. I know it's hard to say what's real, and what's not, and the, and the sad fact of the matter. Is that we <laughs> we have to we have to take every video to a professional to see if it's been doctored? You know, I know, I know, man, I know, I know. It's insane. Like I know. the uh, the Utah drone footage. That was a similar thing that they had to take to some experts. There's I a, don't know what this is. What is this? This is, it was kind of cool. Like it's hard to say what it is. It's hard to say. Sam, I'm not, Sam, Utah drone footage. Yeah. Stop googling pictures of Trump and aliens. <laughs> <laughs> what if? <laughs> Bernie, Dude, <laughs> put that on the screen. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Sam. Now that should be a T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wait, wait. What is this? Okay, but what is this Utah drone footage? Is this something we can Google? Can we see you should it? Should be able to. Yeah. Sam, go, can you Google, can you Google that? So there's a, a a drone cameraman who was just like had this. Thing like running from a drone. Yeah. Okay. So he had just had this this camera running for a while, and he, he went back to review the footage. And there's this <laughs> looks like a white disc that just goes Pow! and just shoots through the camera frame at like this insane speed. So uh, the show that I was watching, they took it to some guys to analyze oh, it. Here we go. Is this, is this bullshit? Got it. Sam, is this on the screen? Oh, there you go. Yep. 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 Uh, Sam. Okay. 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 This is definitely oh, drone. Okay. Boom. Did you see it? No. See, I, I get this it. shit in my drone Watch. though. They True should, story. Watch this. So they have the Watch slowed down story. version. They'll probably right there. boom, dude. I, I, I missed it, dude. I get that in my drone though. Let me, let Do you really? Yeah, it's bugs. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah, it could be. It could be. I'm serious. Yeah, slow that. Slow that thing down. I miss it. We need to no, see the flight. No, it's super pattern. fast. All right, all right. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm serious. I could pull up drone footage where I get this all the time. All right, okay, it's slowed down. Now we gotta like awkwardly watch. <laughs> yeah, where is it? There it is, right there. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. Well, that didn't that look. Oh wait, fast. Sam, play that back again. Okay, that didn't look like a bug. Well, but like, that's so small. I know that is so small. <clears throat> See, that's the thing though. It's like, what the hell is it though? But I, they have it labeled right, Un- unidentified flying See, object. Whoa. Here's the thing though. That that. <laughs> Is Whoa. like the size of a small bird, right? Like a frisbee. Yeah, I'm not buying that, that one. Hey, maybe bro. there's an ultimate team out there. We should <laughs> see it right off camera. <laughs> right? Is there more to that, Sam? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, is there? I've only seen that footage. Just oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. What is that thing? It's out there. That's a bird. That's a bird. Yeah. That's a bird. That's a fast ass bird. That's yeah. a fast. And the yeah. bird's flying high. Okay. Yeah. I mean, if that is a that, that first high. off, that definitely looks like drone footage. Um, yeah. If it's that big on the screen, though, it, it's literally like the size of a fist in real life. Like it's yeah. not big, but uh, it's definitely moving. Fa- it doesn't look like a an insect, like I said earlier, because I get that. Like, it yeah, that's. Kinda... It looks like a bird. It looks like a six foot turkey. <laughs> 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 I, th- I think it's Hillary Clinton's adopted alien baby. <laughs> Quite possible. Uh, um, yeah. What 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 are uh, what other uh, avenues do you want to explore? I don't know. We, this we is good. Bigfoot. No, I, no, no. Um, <laughs> this has been good. We've been going for two hours. Um, <laughs> we really. Yeah, it goes super fast. Um, is there anything else pertinent? Do you want to talk about? Uh, what, are, what are we looking forward to? Yeah, that was what I was going to ask you. Okay, so what yeah. do you think? What do you think happens the next five to ten years? Oh, whoa, whoa, five to ten years. Uh, I was thinking like. 30, 60 days. Okay. Getting getting this. Okay, so report. what do you think is going to come out later this month? I think the document drop is going to be anticlimactic. I agree yeah. with you. I it's going to be, it's no going to be, yep, we don't know what those videos of, from those Navy fighters are. Do you think yeah. they're going to release more videos and pictures and stuff we haven't seen? I think we will see more videos. I don't know that they'll release it willingly, but I think that, um, you know, the, they'll continue to leak them. So okay. I, think, I think we'll definitely see more. Like Christopher Mellon. You know, who, yeah, I listened to that one. He he straight up said, "There's way more shit." You guys he was seen. talking about one kind of like with the pilots, where it like goes in between two planes or something or something. Whoa. Yeah, he's talking about one. I want that because um, <laughs> Rogan asked him. He's like, "Is there some video evidence that hasn't been released yet?" And he talks about it, and it's like fighter yeah. jet stuff where it, it flies like super close to them. Well, the uh, what 
what was the other what was the the other pilot's name that was on the 60 minutes interview with oh Frank? alex dietrich the the female yeah alex dietrich alex dietrich yeah. so she talks about how she flew down yeah and saw it oh in visual she's like yeah she's like we went down like they were they were above oh, and man. she's she like floored it down yeah Do we have a video of what she uh, got i don't know i don't, I don't know if the, if there is they haven't released it yet so okay so you think nothing climactic is going to happen with this no. next release i i tend to agree with that yeah. statement i think this is certainly a step forward though and i think that a lot of the hardcore ufo ufo people are going to be really disappointed they're going to be pissed they're gonna be like but I don't think they should be surprised. Yeah. They're, the government, there's just no way. They take baby steps. There's right. no way they're going to come out and be like, yep, it's it's an alien. Yeah. But I do think, you know, if we're looking at five to ten years That's what I now, mean. Like, what do you think is going to happen? I think it'll be a slow leak. I think it'll be a slow trickle, but they'll we'll gradually learn more. And obviously, as technology advances, we all have 4K cameras in our pockets now. I, I think that's part of it, too. I honestly think that, that technology has pushed this disclosure, or whatever you want to call it, or acknowledgement along, because... People are catching it more and more, and the, the, the videos will become clear. It'll become more undeniable, whether it's our technology or alien. Uh, you know, it's they're going to have to acknowledge it. If it is our military technology, they're doing a shit job of keeping it well, under wraps. I actually think it... I, I subscribe, I've subscribed to the It's Purpose. But that makes no sense. Why would they want other countries knowing what we have in any capacity? To, to leave... Flex... <laughs> Yeah. No way that 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 gives away any military advantage. I don't know. Not really. Yeah, it does. No, it, it makes it they're still confused. If, if it's, Russia's still pl flying F-15s, and they're yeah, still but no, they're like, our, oh. it's way more advantageous for us for them to not know we have it. That's true. I, I yeah, I mean, I don't disagree with and you. And the, the military operates it's based on logic. Yeah. But but I can't. Yeah. But I'm if not, it, not then if it, it was a deterrent, we would be saying, hey, this is our shit. No. Yeah. yeah, right. And they're not. All right. Well, I'm no. shooting down Maybe. both of these arguments right now. <laughs> no, no. no. Here's, here's Maybe what's that's weird, the way though. of saying it. I, I don't completely disagree with either either arguments. The, the the problem though is that like every like we're all like we're not getting any any uh no one's tipping their hand. You know, like the Russians aren't like, yeah, we don't know what it is. Everybody's just kinda like claiming that they have no idea what yeah. it is. So it's like uh, yeah, I don't I don't know. It, it's we're in a very weird do you think 20 years from now we know aliens exist i hope so i hope so do i you, think so i think, think you think we have to 20 I years think from so. now 20 years yeah you got me right here and what is that gonna do my 62nd birthday <laughs> what is that gonna do to the stock market oh dude <laughs> alien technology no no, no. Well, tesla's yeah. tesla's gonna go straight up <laughs> my tesla yeah. stock is, yeah. is awful right yeah. now so. I, I actually think if if all of a sudden the government's like aliens exist the stock market would crash instantly do you think so yeah well there'd be panic there, and sell be, off there'd be like one hedge fund that would be like investing in certain like things but if, but no, if aliens take I'm over totally what good cool is your money all that, that's true you that's know? why people would sell they want their money but what are you going to do with it once but aliens there'd be no money. That's true. <laughs> Space cash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do aliens use debit cards? That's what I want to know. Space you get cash. the space cash. <laughs> um, all right. Okay, let's wrap this up. Um, uh, uh, I also, Andy was telling me you're also a conspiracy theory guy. Oh, I love a good okay, conspiracy theory. Okay, I want to do a whole podcast on no, that. No, okay. we're going to do the D.B. Cooper. Oh, I got a guest coming on. Who's gonna? We're gonna do an episode on D.B. Cooper. Okay, so I want you to and come. And serial killers. I'm doing Zodiac and uh, Jack the Ripper. So... We're going to, I want you to come back to do that. But, okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So first off, um, thank you so much for talking to us about oh, this. This is super fun. Okay. Me, what are, so well, um, please say the name of your <laughs> podcast again. People can check them out. So if you want to get weird with me, uh, like, <laughs> they from, do. from the void, the first, uh, I think the first three episodes, first four episodes. And you got maybe. the New York times guy yeah, in yeah. one of these episodes. Already okay. interviewed him. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I got Ralph Blumenthal. I've got a I've got a, a guy who's been working for uh, for Mufon as a field investigator for uh, since '86, I think, uh, who 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 seems to know a lot about what's going on. Um, I've got a couple people. So I think the first four episodes are aliens. We're doing uh, unsolved serial killers. We're doing uh, mysterious manuscripts. We're doing all sorts of weird okay. stuff. Near death experiences. So if you want to get weird, from I have the, void. the Twitter. I have the Twitter for this in the um, in okay. the comments. Or sorry, in the description. Then your other podcast, uh, the Deconstructionist. So if you wanna if you wanna get in some spirituality, um, interviewed all sorts of people from scientists to you know uh, biblical experts, scholars. That's cool. To, uh, musicians. So yeah. you need to uh, do it. Oh god, he's done it. Live. You do? You do them live? We did. Well, we you did. did the one in Colorado, didn't you? 
Uh, oh, we did a live event. Oh, okay. But we didn't stream okay. it. We didn't stream it. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So you recorded it live, but you didn't, it didn't like air live. Right. Okay. Right. That's, yeah. that's, that counts. Yeah. That yeah. counts. Yeah. Um, all right, man. Thank you so much for hey, coming and talking. This is super me. fun. Yeah, um, totally. We'll bring it back to do conspiracy, oh, conspiracy oh, theories. Do a conspiracy segment. Um, are we going to do a Bigfoot one? You guys are the out yeah. We've guys. done yeah. a Bigfoot oh. one, dude. We uh, had a legitimate Bigfoot scientist on here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you should have him on your From the Void. He's a good dude. Totally. He'll do uh, it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sam, good job over there, pal. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Thanks for having me. Any f- closing thoughts? No. We're going out this weekend. We're going out. We are as, going out. As, assuming the weather looks good tomorrow. Yes. We're going to just Provide. hold that if, assumption. Yeah. If, if, if Dr. Squatch is listening, I think you should sponsor this podcast. Yes. It just makes yes. too much yes. sense. Yes. I know, right? We it does make sense. I'm wearing their deodorant right now. <laughs> yeah. And I've lathered my body in their soaps. And I smell great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, everybody. That's it. Yep. Oh, oh, Sam. Oh, good Sam. I love it, Sam. All right, Sam, you got to go to the stream tab and click end stream. Far left. <laughs> Far left tab. No, sorry, the X Files is the far left tab. I don't know. I'll get up. Again. Yeah, I know he's got it in stream.